Boys. Anyway, hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode 13 of Blood of the Father. Uh, where we last left off, we had some fun with history. Uh, we continued our dive through the Draulman Caves, through some ancient Ralshi ruins, uh, pushing through the impression of uh, Zagra. They found the horn, the set of horns for. The team delved into a untouched part of uh, these ruins, where they found this strange crown-like device, a little circlet, uh, that would only fit a being with horns, so naturally, shouldn't put it on. Uh, and he was hit with a strange series barrage, more of images, emotions, just a bunch. He can't really make much sense of it right now. Uh, he got more of the emotional part, but he doesn't really... He's still piecing together a lot of what he saw. Uh, one thing he did con consistently see, though, was these squid-like beings and the Ralshi fighting both these beings and the, each other. Uh, there's a lot of blood. He got bits and pieces of some weird ritual, which they actually came across the ritual site later. Um, but before they got to the ritual site, they came across various writings that depicted, that described an arbiter of the queen being trapped in this quote-unquote tomb, um, along with the Rashid that were dead. They fa came face-to-face -face with said arbiter, and it was an undead illithid. Or skeletal, well, yeah, I guess it did still flies, but it, it seemed to still be, like, Mostly in control of its faculties. Um, in addition to a mind witness. Not that these guys have any idea what the fuck an illithid or a mind witness is. We attack scary thing. But after a pretty pretty good fight, um, that Shin managed to take down the mind witness while he was enlarged, while it was floating in the sky. It was pretty nice. And then pushing forward, they found this strange ritual site with a hundred, at least, dead uh, skeletons of Ralshi. And a strange magic circle made with blood and statues of Zagra. Even though Shin doesn't understand magic, even he could feel the magic radiating from the place. Uh, it was some side of some mega spell. That's the most the party really got out of. Um, then they had, then they exited the Drawman Caves, and they had to say goodbye to Conrad, who went on his way to Silver Key, which is right over here, at Silver Key. Yeah. Uh, which is why he didn't come with y'all to crying, because it would really take just as long to get to crying as it would have to get to Silver Key. But, with that, y'all are outside the cave, it's... Probably around this afternoon. You'll have no idea what time it is. God, I guess we find... go to the little shack. The dude said he was going to stay. Yeah, I'm trying to find his name. Quartz. It's not Quartz, is it? Quartz. Yes, yeah, Quartz. He said he would be t staying at a scavenger site nearby the Drawman Caves, about two, three hour walk to the north northeast. Yep. You fucking kidding me? We got to walk two hours west. Excuse Maybe me. In that cave yes, for like a week. What the hell? We should have just given him a whistle or something. Mm. Yeah, it wouldn't have been safe for the camels. Shin just says, and he kind of stretches and kind of really feels the sun. A in a, a, a large area of your location. We don't know what's out here. Yeah, schematic says that. He just kind of motions. There's just, there's just sand. We don't know what's out here. Yeah, but we don't know what lies out, out there. Uh, might as well find out. Don't forget to clutch your purse while we go, Manic. Huh? Can't lose any of that stuff. <laughs> what purse? I think he's talking about the haversack. Oh, <laughs> do Shin, you have it? <laughs> Shin looks down at him. He's like, he's not I'll carrying know. it. Do you have it? No, Manic, he's carrying carry a purse. Manic is carrying he's the haversack. Oh, Shin's which is God. kind of purse-like. It's fair to say, call it that. I mean, by, judging by the book, judging by the the picture. It looks like a backpack. Oh yeah, no, yeah the haversack does look like a backpack. It's a satchel. The it's bag of holding actually looks more like a purse. It does. Actually, it looks more like a hiking bag. Yeah. 
the haversack does. The bag of holding looks more like a purse, though. Well, it can take various forms, but the haversack looks like its picture. It looks like a backpack. So, Manic's carrying his backpack, and on top of his backpack, he has the haversack. I have two go bags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shin just kind of looks down at him. He's like, if, I, I don't really know how this magic stuff works. If it gets, you know, heavy, just let me know. I can carry anything. Is anybody oh, cool with, like, sack. actually <laughs> killing people? Because I can't do that. I can't. If we're there, If there's, like, a... Like a scavenger out here, I, I'm not gonna be able to kill him. Scavenger hunt? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Shin just kind of goes like punches his fist into We're his phone. He's like, "I got it," and then he coughs up a little bit of blood. So no, l- l- let me kill him. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there is no one him. around. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not gonna stop you guys. I just, I just can't do it myself. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, we didn't see anything really on the way over here. Shouldn't be too much of a trouble getting back. Well, y'all are going to a scavenger outpost. Yeah, we're going to the scavenger outpost. Yeah, but if they fuck Look, with I'm our camera, we don't know what actually left. So, All we know that there's, there's birds. And second, we do need to keep this on the DL that we just raided and defeated this dungeon. Why? Well, because no one's if we get to the, if we get to the scavenger's there. camp and we let it, we're just, you know, waving this this purse around being like, look at all the goodies we found. Mm-hmm. We're going to have a little yeah. more... Yeah, they would raid issues the, the to come on, you know. Oh yes, that makes sense. Because they do they this shit for a living. Although, in my experience, things. scavenger camps are genuinely f- friendly because if you do any fuckery there, they will kick you out. What? What? Generally, hey, he's got a point. That have the most fiends. Well, have the most strict rules. Hmm? Hmm. That's yeah, that, 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 that. Yeah, you know, uh, fair she enough. kind of turns around and goes, "Guy, that that's true, but." They'd send more people in here after us, and I—I I don't know. I got a lot of. I just don't. He kind of waves his hand around. Ancient feelings that we haven't actually discovered. I mean, yeah. we could just As tell them we cleared it. it down to the Zorn, and we never found anything. Well, also, I'd not like any kind of gestures over. A lot of my people's history trampled upon. Mm. Well, true. you know, I don't know much about history, but I know about camping. And if you want to camp with someone, mm. just bring them a gift, like an animal, for them to eat. So let's just kill a monster on the way and bring them some food. Yeah. Oh, my God. Thank goodness. I thought you were going to say my camel, and I was not appreciative of that. No, no. Not camel. We have to ride we, camel. I know. And we learned so many facts. Y'all are having this whole conversation just in front of this cave. Oh, I assume we were walking. My bad. Yeah, no, no, no one said no one said anything. Y'all are right, not. Well, all right, then we start walking. Yeah, God uh, yeah, okay, walking. yeah. Let's let's start walking. I'm so sorry. I would not have carried this on. <laughs> yeah, we're just standing in front of the cave having this whole conversation. <laughs> Max, we're like, can, can we go? Max, oh, like right, hundred right, yards right. off. Guys, he's so fast. I like that he's right. as much as you two, but we gotta get a move on. <laughs> I don't want the dude to keep waiting. Y'all have no idea how long y'all been gone, really. Yeah, for yeah, real. No he could be gone, Honestly, probably. No. Yeah. Let's start heading there, and then we can discuss the rules of how we're going to behave. <laughs> it's been, like, at least two days, but we don't know if it's been two days or, like, 5,000 years from Magic Wedge. It's not been 5,000 I mean. years. I'll be dead by then. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, ev- give everyone just roll a d20. Ooh. No modifier or anything. That's a six. That's a net 20, holy shit. I love how I was. Four, 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 five, six, six, twenty. Right. Some of y'all start lagging behind, but Gaijin manages to keep make y'all keep pace a little bit. So will actually, after about two and a half hours, I'll start... I didn't make a map for this because it didn't really warrant it. Uh, I do come across this gap in the mountain, about 100 feet wide, uh, and above it has this makeshift sign that says that just says uh theta could be a trap Same. boys beta theta b e t a t h e t a oh theta i'm sorry it's written in common she kind of looks up at it is this where we're supposed to go uh looking inside of it you don't have to make any checks for this but you do see some like makeshift buildings, some people walking about. Uh, doesn't look like so much a town, really. 
that this is the rest area? This must be the camp. Did we bring a present? Fuck. Let's go hunt. It's about 7.30 or so. It's, it's starting to get dark. Might not be time for that one, guy. Uh, maybe they just take coin. No, because then when you show them that you have coin, they know you have coin. Well, all I've got is one on me. So I've got a bell. I'm going to show them mine. I mean, I guess I am wearing this robe. Yeah, who cares? Let's go. True. Yeah, I just you want to point out, there does not seem to be any, like, guards posted or anything. Okay. As we're walking, I do want to point out to Guy, I'm like, Guy, that robe is nasty. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think oh. I like robe life. Mm. Uh, and as y'all come into the camp, uh, it's a little bigger than you probably had imagined. Um, but it leads between this gap. Well, let me move y'all a little bit. So, like, right here? It's, like, between a small part uh, of the mountain and right here? Yeah. Yeah. And it's these houses are sort of lining the side, both sides. Uh, they're not so much houses so much as, like, some people have like makeshift shops. Maybe some people are living here. It's really hard to tell, but uh, definitely isn't very town like. But no one seems outright aggressive. You get some weird looks as you're going through. Um, just because y'all are outsiders and y'all don't seem like scavengers, really. Um, do I see like any sort of nice looking old lady? Like, that was a very important question in D and D. Roll a perception check. Ooh. Fuck. You can't tell anything. You know, there's people around. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna... We'll stop the first person I see, I guess, and ask them uh, if they've seen a... Uh, Earth Ganassi around here with a couple of camels. Alright. Uh, well, he's starting to stop anything. We'll make a perception check just to look around. Yeah. yeah. And that's you. You're, you're stopping a person. Yeah. Uh, I said not you. <laughs> no, not me? No, not uh, Finnegan. Oh, Ooh. I'm sorry. I thought you were talking to Sam. No. 13. You're oh. the one stopping somebody. Yeah, fuck you, Shin. It's a 15. Right, Gaijin. Sorry, one sec. No problem. God damn. <laughs> That's damn. another nat 20! Oh my god, I'm wasting them all right now. Uh, anyway. <laughs> you don't know that. You don't know that. Anyway, uh, Finnegan, you walk, as you're, someone was walking by, that's, uh, appears to be a fire gena uh, Ganassi. Ganassi, but either, either way. Uh, mid-twenties-ish. Maybe. Maybe a little older. Uh, kind of rough, kind of dirty, kind of greasy looking. Uh, but you stop him. And while he, while you stop him, before we get into what you're saying, uh, Manic and Gaijin and Shin, you're looking around, you do notice a larger building that has five camels in front of it on the northeastern side of the plaza-like area. Oh, I'll say plaza because it's in the center. There's no, like, any indication of anything. It's just slightly bigger. Uh, yeah, there's a larger building with, like, five camels in front of it. Got it. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> Finnegan. Shin kind of uh, how do you, how do you stop this man? Do you just like step in front of him? Uh, no, I think it's just as I pass, I kind of uh give him like an open stance. Say, Excuse me, man. He looks at you and says, "What?" Uh, I'm looking for a earth Nazi with like five camels, four camels. He looks at you. He's like, "I don't know anything about the earth uh, Genasi, but uh, he just points to the camels over there. Like, there are five camels over there." Sorry about that, man. I'm a I'm a fucking idiot. So uh, I'll, I'll walk over that way. Nice hair. <laughs> Thanks. And he kind of waves and turns back onto his path. Nice guy. Fuck? I like that guy. Well, nice as you turn around, as you turn around and notice, like the three other guys are like already walking that way. Yeah. Shin kind of spin, like spins on the other turn. I was like. Hey Finn, we found him. I hustle on behind him. All right, and as y'all approach this building, it's not nice looking at all. 
Like, it's kind of thrown together. It looks like a Fallout 4, like, settlement house. Almost. Uh, except bigger. Except bigger. Um, but there does seem to be music playing and, like, laughter. Like, it seems kind of lively. Oh. For this. Music, you say? Definitely not that. Oh, there we go. That's a little more appropriate. Yeah. I am going to peek my head in and see if I see young man quartz. Uh, roll another perception check. All right. Could I happen to see which camel is the one that I rode in on? Is there any distinguishing factors? Mm, you didn't really look over the animals that went hard. Perception 11. All right, uh, you peek your head in. Uh, there's a good 20, 30 people in here. Uh... But after look, scanning the room for a second, you do notice slightly familiar. It looks, it's a little hard to tell from this angle, but it looks like Quartz is sitting in the far corner. Uh, I will approach him and uh, say, I just kind of lean over his shoulder, I guess, before I, I'm sure of who it is and uh, say, uh, need a drink, man? He kind of stumbles back a little bit because you're like next to his head. It's like, oh, shit. Oh. Oh, hey, you! Hey. Oh, you got know, looks like you're here a little early. Are we? How long have you been here? Oh, this is day two. Nice, so we're speed running. Hell yeah, fellas. That's actually awesome, yeah. Yeah, we lost all track of day and time in the cave. I thought it was like a month. Yeah, yeah it's hard to tell when there's no sun going over. Yeah, yeah. That's, that happens a lot, especially to some of the miners. Uh, that's why a lot of these people become scavengers out here. You got a lot of miners around here. Yeah, there's tons of mines out here in the Empire. This, oh. is, where the, this is where most of the uh, Mithril and Adamantine and oh. all of them comes from. Mine. Shin looks. I was about to say, Shin looks at Finn and shakes his head and goes, "Yeah, I didn't see any kids either." Yeah. Well, Quartz is only like 16. Mm. Well, deafening silence. Well, Quartz, are you uh, you ready to? <laughs> Ready to get get on getting on, or you wanna you know, get dad along the heck and tonight? fuck out of here? I mean, we got one more, we got one more night, so you know. No, yeah, you did pay for an extra night, so if I want to stay here, feel free. I'm here, I'm paid either way. So, are there any cool places in between here and there, like say a secret oasis with hot bikini babes? Mm -hmm. uh, court Court laughs at that too. He's like, oh, if I knew that, I wouldn't be here now, would I? I guess you're right, Quartz. Uh, you are wise beyond your years. Shin does like a big stretch and goes, I wouldn't mind a good night's sleep in an actual bed. I can sleep on a camel. <laughs> I can sleep on a camel. I, I don't <laughs> Fair. at all, actually. I wouldn't uh, be opposed to riding out through, but... Uh, y'all would probably... Yep. Sure if y'all leave, if y'all leave, y'all will have to camp out in the desert. It takes uh, about... Yeah, let's just grab... It takes about here. 36 hours to get back to Crying. How much are bids here? Mm. Uh, and Quartz goes, well, I can't say exactly. And he kind of points over to um, a man behind the counter uh, making drinks. It's like, that'd be the man you need to talk to. And it's... Uh, Why can't you say? Where have you been sleeping? It's like, well, places like this don't have set prices. Ah, uh, you know them. Do we get kicked out if we just set up a bed roll somewhere? Yeah, absolutely. Well, outside, no, but we well, get I robbed. I don't mean like set up like one right in the middle of a shop. No. Yeah, if you want an actual bed, talk to him, and it's a, it's a brass dragonborn man. Uh, yeah, will... Shin just kind of shrugs and it's like, I'll talk yeah, to him. I'll approach with Shin. And he's making he a drink, it. but he kind of cocks his head a little bit, and like, like he acknowledges you're standing there. Yeah. Shin just kind of gives him the nut. He knows bartender, so he's mm -hmm. just waiting. He's not going to interrupt the man's business. He pours the drink, then he kind of looks over. He's like, how can I help you boys? Uh, uh, excuse me, sir. Oh, go ahead, Finn. And oh, kind gonna, of gesture. Yeah, I was going to grab four drinks and four beds for the night, if possible. What you drinking? Um, Let's see. What do you have in the realm of a good ale? What's uh, what's your best ale you got on tap? It's mm. so, like, well, here we don't get the all the finest selections of everywhere else, but, uh, well, yeah, I have something. Uh, he brings out 
these four glasses. Like, it'll cost you a gold for the four, though. For the four? I can do that. Alright. And I uh, will give him a gold and two silver pieces. Alright. Thank you, thank you. And he pours the glasses, brings them out. Uh, looks like normal ale. He says, as for the rooms, uh, how many What do you? How many beds do you need? Are you, do you look for singles, doubles? Um, y'all, I mean, Shin's probably gonna need a bed to himself because he's so large. Me and Manic could sleep in the same bed. I and can sleep on the floor. Guy can TV. sleep on the floor, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, we really, yeah, we just really need a room. Well, how many? One bed, two beds? Uh, yeah, two beds, and then... All right, well, the other two. one room with two beds, uh, costs you, uh, three gold. Not bad. This is not... Wait. This is not a big. Uh, <laughs> uh, that doesn't include food. You have to buy food. Oh, we have food. <laughs> Don't Unless you got like food, some though. real good food. Well, we have I'll we have our own specialties. Food. Are you the oh, chef around food. here too? No, 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 no. It's not me. Oh. Well, I'm the owner uh, and bartender. How much for the tastiest meal you got? I could go for a late night snack. Hmm. Oh, you're not from the Empire, are you? I am not. I am from the Noscana. And I give him like a... Mm -hmm. He looks at you as like... But kind of confused as to why this human would say it like that, but... Eh, I'm not personally a fan of the Holy State myself, but... uh. Welcome. <laughs> Just in the corner, Manic. Welcome! Yeah, I don't like to live my life on the way of luck, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, today our specialty is we have some uh, wool penguin uh, roast and some, I'm trying to think of the name, uh, cannot, draskberries, I couldn't think of the town, and some draskberries, which are a fruit found specifically near Drask. Uh, they have kind of a sweet and tart flavor. They had a nice, nice compliment to the uh, woolly penguin. That sounds delicious. How much for that? <laughs> Shin's mouth is watering right now. <laughs> uh, for one five silver. Um, yeah, I'll, we'll do. I'll do four of those as well, and I'll toss him another gold. Oh wait, it's two gold, so I'll toss him two more gold. All right, takes the gold. It's like, oh uh, yeah, feel free to take the table, uh, and we'll actually have... make it. Uh... Make it five. I forgot we have a buddy. We have a companion here. <laughs> All right. Uh, Shin goes, so well, I'll get that one, and I'll toss five, five silver. silver. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, feel free to take a table. We'll have it out to you. Uh, you can take your drinks. Awesome. Uh, also, you said uh, wool penguins? Wool, woolly penguins. Yeah, so I, I've read about those. Um, are those, like, do you know anybody that domesticates those? <laughs> Not around here. They, uh... The ones that that are feral around here don't tend to take to domestication as easily as they. Well, that's uh, why they're you know that's why they're a dish. Yeah, uh, <laughs> they're a little meatier than uh, I'm told. They're a little meatier than the ones I found that were originally brought here from Mordrick, but uh, apparently the desert out here was good for them, so they fattened up a little bit. Nice, that's great. They well, particularly like the drakberries, draskberries too. There's a fucking fly in here. Oh, I see it. I see it on stream. <laughs> it's annoying the piss out of me. Um, um, reflex shake. Yeah, I will. Uh, oh, I will go to the table and sit down with my beers and wave at the fellas. Yeah, and, I'll help uh, him carry them. I uh, guess I'll go and get quartz, and I'm guessing that's the fifth person you was talking about, right? Yeah, no, quartz is already at the table. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, I assumed we sat down with him. Yeah, uh, even I'll though it's a pretty there. small table over in the corner. <laughs> I don't know why I thought we left somewhere and went somewhere else. My bad. Shin will uh, pull up a chair to the end of it so he doesn't like compromise everyone's sitting companies. And I will lean over to Quartz and say, "Hey, uh, I, I know about your uh, your aunt. Um, do you do you drink? I'll get you a drink." It's like, no, I'm, I'm 16. They're legal drinking age here. <laughs> uh, he kind of shrugs. Mm. Uh, Shin just kind of looks down at him. It really depends on, you know... He may be responsible and doesn't drink on the Species. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's what fine. Does I don't want to pressure him. But a, a, 
above game, I know that his aunt is an alcoholic, so it <laughs> could be painful, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, he doesn't seem too upset, but he okay. does have a water. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine, just wanted to be part of the group. Alright. After about... Tim looks over at him and says, how are the camels? Uh, they're fine. They're, uh, been taken care of here. A little boring for him, I imagine, but can't be any worse than staying at stables. Um... Do camels even do for entertainment? How can they be bored? Each other. Great uh -huh. question. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but after about 20 30 minutes, the food gets brought out, and those portions are pretty damn big. Hell yeah. Oh, by the way, before that, actually, uh, who drinks the ale? Uh, I do. I'm drinking. Yeah, I'll see? take one if there's one. All right, uh, everyone that t roll a constitution save. Okay. Ooh, here we go. I mean, it was five silver per, per glass. Uh, 15 for Shin. All right, Manic and Shin, and Gaijin, actually, all, all three of y'all. All of you start feeling like, as soon as y'all get about halfway done, I think it starts to feel kind of mellow a little bit. Like, or this, this definitely, this ale has definitely something more than just alcohol in it. Uh, as for Ooh. you, Finnegan... After you finish your entire goddamn uh, entire, <laughs> it's fucking fly. It's annoying the shit out of me. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> if you watch stream, you can just see him sit by the camera. <laughs> yeah, like he knows. I don't understand why he's over here. Like this, there's it's a whole. Room. <laughs> I can't get him either because he keeps landing like on my light. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> um. Uh, Finnegan, yep. you start, like, almost melting into your chair, just kind of like, Ugh. after one glass, your body's kind of numb a little bit. You feel nice, you don't feel like... That's good. Can yeah. I eat this delicious meal in front of me? It, it takes you, you have to like... Ugh. Like 3 a.m. Waffle House kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, where you have to like force yourself to sit up. Yeah, yeah, okay, I know exactly what you're talking about, perfect. You're not, like, super drunk. Your body just kind of melting. Yeah. Uh, the rest of you, you feel pretty good. Not not on that level. <sighs> Shin kind of leans back in his chair. It's like, oh. They just, oh, it's like they put something else in there. It's not the honey. Yeah, but, here. I wouldn't be surprised if they did, though. Watch your wallet. <laughs> Peyote. <laughs> <laughs> they spiked our water drinks. That's such a good idea, though. <laughs> Yeah, Quartz kind of watches you all, and the food gets there. He sees the fifth plate, and he's like, "Is that that for me?" Heck yeah, man! Yeah, <laughs> she gives like, a thumbs up. Like, oh, well, yeah, we had back. a good week. We had a I mean, good week because of you. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna say no to a free meal. I mean, we did have to walk like three hours in the desert. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he's already eating at this point. He's like, okay. I'll yeah, I was about to say, Shin is not paying attention. He is devouring his food. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Like, taste uh. That's kind of proud to say, but kind of like chicken, kind of a little more gamey chicken. Yeah. The berries are good. Kind of like kind of like a mix between like a blackberry and a strawberry. I'm gonna drunkenly cast press a digitation on my food just to give it a little more, a little more <sighs> zang. It's gonna make it spicy. It's taking it to Flavor yeah, Town. Spicy, yeah. Take it to Flavor Town. <laughs> Finn is going to shapeshift into Guy Fieri. Um, it's probably going to get to be Guy Fieri because I think that <laughs> I'm going to just start eating this campaign. That's just going to be... As you're, uh, <laughs> as you're in your inebriated state, you kind of salt bathe it with the press digitation. Just... <laughs> as Shen is like tearing into his penguin, he's like, he's like you, you, you don't really even need to change the flavor. It's pretty good. Oh, it's it's so good, but I just wanted a little bit of spice. That's all yeah, I needed. Fair just, enough. As you're saying that, everyone roll Constitution save again. Oh no! Ooh. Disadvantage oh. for Finnegan. Oh no! Fuck. Seventeen. Seventeen. Hey, hey! Disadvantage for you, Finnegan. I did. Yeah, he rolled a seven. Oh, okay. Uh. God. So. Oh no. Gaijin and uh, Finnegan. This shit's spicy. Oh. 
already. Oh, spicy. Well, I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, so I Finnegan is real fucking spicy. Is that why you had to do disadvantage? You yeah. Spicy? <laughs> yeah. As for Shin and Mac, that has a little bit of kick to it, but it's like an after thing. Like you, you'd already gotten a little bit into it before the kick hit. Uh, Precedentation, give it a little more acidic. <laughs> um, I think that was just a con roll that I did bad, but but can I roll something to determine whether I like it or not? Uh, spicy food is fairly common in the tribe land, so it's your call there. I could okay, imagine. I, yeah, I, I like it. My eyes are watering and I'm like crying, but I'm like grinning and I have a thumb up. Yeah, Shin is looking over a guy just shaking his head like, isn't this the best shit you've ever had? Oh... Fucking delicious. Yeah, I just want to say this is like getting like this is like getting some uh they're not you're not eating wings, you're eating like the chicken itself. It's like getting some nice ass wings at a weird dive restaurant you stopped at. Yeah. Oh, that's the best places. Oh, I almost is. asked that to the barkeep too. It's like, hey, since I'm not around here, is this gonna like fuck my stomach up? <laughs> uh he's a dragonborn, he just kinda looks at you, looks at you up and down. He's like for a human? Probably. Oh, yeah, so lizard people stick together. High five, <laughs> Manic. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Looks over at Guy expectantly because this has been his diet culturally for the best. Guy just is still grinning and eating with a thumb up. The Tribeland actually have a very large variety of food because so many different oh, cultures. God. I was memeing, but yeah. Probably a lot of wild critters out there, too. Oh, they got some weird ass shit out there. There should be some weird shit. But everything is edible if you try hard enough. No, but some likes you. Some some meals likes you a lot. <laughs> I imagine trying to food to be like the food Bobby Boucher eats when he goes home to the mama's house. <laughs> like, what Just the one like big snake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's there. They got they got some variety. Like, they, they got some variety. Now snakes don't have paws, but if I had to guess, I'd say that's his knee. <laughs> but anyway, y'all finish up your food. Uh, anything y'all need to take care of before y'all go to you know, sleep for the night? Yeah, I gotta go to the bathroom. Uh, there is there is a uh... in game or in game. Okay, I feel like mm. I haven't done it in like two campaigns, so yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, there is not one in the room. It is more of a uh, communal style. That's uh, a big ass house, isn't it? Kind of, okay. yeah. Well, guy goes to the bathroom and he goes to bed. I wasn't trying to yeah. make a scene out of that. I, just... yeah, I was about to say, shit would kind of sit at the bar and have one more one just kind of look around. Yeah, I think I might sit at the bar till close. Uh, really, Constitution. No, this place ain't gonna close. Uh, oh yeah, I'm not sitting around till close. I'm just having like one more sipping on we'll it. Have while to over. That. Yeah. Shin just in, yeah, Shin just enjoys taverns. One second though. Uh, roll a Constitution save, uh, Bennigan. You got this. I've been rolling like shit early tonight. Well, Finnegan, hey. you feel like you are dying in the bathroom after about two hours. Mm -hmm. After you eat, it's hurting as bad out as it did going in. Oh like no! Word. <laughs> <laughs> as he as he wipes. <laughs> but yeah, that's where Finnegan is. Like after about two hours, y'all is hanging out in the bar, Shin. Uh, Finnegan just goes, oh no. And he's gone for about an hour. Oh no, that's right. Uh, the rest so of you? Manic. Uh, I don't know what that was about. Guys, and make the constitution save as well, but at advantage. Uh, I think great ball has to be one word. Oh. Alright, 13. That's fine. Uh, your stomach feels a little weird, but you're kind of used to it. I just know what's about to happen later. Yeah, on. it's not. It doesn't. It doesn't bother you near as bad as it does Finnegan, but you have some issues, but nothing bad. Finnegan, Finnegan, poor guy. Poor guy. Uh, Manic and Gaijin, y'all go to bed, right? Yep. All right, Chen, you're in the bar. Uh, after about an hour. Bartender for something before we did. Oh, also, he said I had to sleep on the floor, but I I went ahead and took one of the beds. Ha. Huh. 
Uh, you don't have to keep putting poke to catch after you did the second grade. It just doesn't say if you've done anything. <laughs> uh, I, well, is that, I don't think I had one in my inventory is why. Ah. Um. Yeah. What'd you need to ask the bartender, Manic? Uh, I wanted to ask about the ale. What about it? What was his name and what was in it? <laughs> uh, well, it's my own, my own, uh, brew. Uh, I call it Dragon Tooth. Is this like a prison toilet wine? <laughs> it's an ale. <laughs> uh, but it is made with a small amount of scorpion venom. That's pretty badass. Okay, dude. Like, like Maddox straightens up. Okay, dude. He just walks out the door. <laughs> goes to bed. <laughs> he just kind of like toasts his mug and just sits back. And on his face, you could just see. That motherfucker almost killed me. <laughs> Nah. He's trying to kill us. <laughs> yeah, I think um, knowing that he probably wouldn't overserve someone. Yeah, I was about to say, as Manic is going upstairs, Shin just kind of gives him two things. Like, I'll be up in a bit. Y'all holler if you need anything. Gaijin has taken one of the beds. What about you, Manic? There is a chair. There is no sofa. There is a chair. Uh, no. There's no sofa, but there's a chair. Mm -hmm. I'm not sleeping in a chair. That's the floor. Mm -hmm. All right. It's not the worst for you. It's... You slept on the floor. There's a carpet, and it's it's not the worst. And you have oh, your bags. How, co how comfy is the chair? I was about to uh, say, is the chair big enough for him to curl up in? Yeah. The chair is big enough for a uh, fairly large person sitting comfortably. Mm -hmm. It does look fairly yeah, soft. Okay. Oh, so it's like a lazy boy? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, okay. I was thinking like those point, like... No, it's like not like a hotel... Chair. It's not like a hotel <laughs> waiting lobby chair. It's a, <laughs> it's a folding chair. chair. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, it's a pretty nice chair. On the back. I mean, given the environment, it's not the best quality, but it's just, it's just a pretty nice chair. Uh, I'll take the chair. Fuck it. It's not. It's better than the floor. All right, uh, Finnegan and Shin. Am I out of the bathroom? Yes, after about an hour. Okay. Uh, Quartz has gone to bed too. He said uh, he's going to get up at around five a.m. It's up to y'all when y'all want to leave, but he'd rather leave uh, what early. What time is it around now? Um, it is about, let's say about 10 p.m. Between eating and everything. Oh, that's fair. Hanging oh, out, Finnegan in the bathroom. We need to be up around 6 to take a full rest. <laughs> um, yeah, you want to you wanna get one more brush in, or are you, uh, you done for the night? No, well, shouldn't just kind of like... Jiggles his glasses like, yeah, one more. Maybe you want to people watch her a bit. Yeah, um, so I'll take another ale. One without scorpion venom, no offense. <laughs> you just want, um, you want like, low quality? What, what kind of quality are you looking for here? Uh, like a mid-tier, something that's not going to make me yak, but something that I can, you know, sit here. Like a Miller Light, if you've ever heard of that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't heard of that, but uh, I got something for you. That'd be uh, silver. Uh, toss him uh, a silver and, um, you know, I'll just give him two silver. Say so thanks for the hospitality. Bring you a drink. This one you uh, don't have to make a save for. It's fairly is normal. Is there any ales from, like, where Shen is from specifically? Uh, Rastashal does not, mm, like, export. I didn't think we did, but I... Okay. Uh... There's stuff from Arthal, if you want something like that. I should just kind of like finish the last hit, sits down. Yeah, I think from Arthal. Mm, we got a wine and sort of a <sighs> bourbon. Hmm. Not much of a wine drinker. This from the as bourbon from Rumah. Smiles at him. I was about to say as he smiles at him. I'm not okay. much of a wine drinker. And he says, uh, three silver. Ooh. Goddamn flying. Uh, I'll just, I got five, so I'll give him five. And he just kind of like hands to him, and a water, please. <laughs> All right. I've seen enough of this to know. All right. Pours you your drink, uh, brings you your water. He gives him a nod, thanks him. He kind of looks over at Finn as he takes a sip of it. You know, I was uh, uh, 
I've been raised in places like this. Really? That's cool. I was raised underneath a uh, strong arm of racism. Yeah, well, can't <laughs> compete with that. I was a fisherman by trade, you know, with that and all, but my best friend owned a tavern. Well, his parents did. Pretty cool. That's how you learn to look for stuff. Can I make a perception check to see if anybody, like, to see, like, the person who would be the most likely to punch someone in the room is? That might be, yeah, as you look around, that might be fairly hard to point out in this crowd. At this time of Fair day. Fair enough. I was just going to do like a thing with Finn and be like, you see that guy? Don't look at him directly. I mean, this is, this is a pretty tough crowd. Don't okay. no worry. I've been looking but, at my feet the entire time. I was time. about to say, Shannon will just kind of like, you know, lean back, not really looking anybody in the eyes, but just kind of point over and be like, don't look at that guy, but he will stab you if we make eye contact and sip his drink. <laughs> uh, I'm going to look over at the barkeep and ask him what kind of music he listens to. Mm-hmm. So he kind of shrugs, like whatever anyone feels like playing. We don't really stop anyone unless they're bad. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't, I can't account for your safety. But uh, Finn Finn's cracks smile. his neck audibly. He's like, my, if you want to try? My smile is just growing like the Cheshire Cat right now. Yeah, <laughs> Shin just cracked his neck very audibly. Like, go ahead. I know I'm not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not. And then uh, I will play uh, Taylor Shift's hit song, Bad Reputation. <laughs> Roll a performance check. But uh, I guess uh, before I roll this performance check, I'm going to... Is there like a stage or anything? Mm, just kind of a makeshift stage made out of one of the tables. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll get on that. And uh, yeah, I'll just start playing, I guess. I was going to make a speech, but I guess if there's... I don't know. I don't think I want to get anybody's attention here other than just starting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, first performance check. 11. All right. Ooh. You start playing, and uh, it's not it's not the worst, but you can feel like you're nervous. Yeah, he just hears shit in the background going, yeah. He's got his tankard raised up. Uh, roll another performance check. All right. All right. You start hitting your groove. Uh, even the it's crowd. 20. The crowd started to look like they were getting a little annoyed with it, but uh, you start hitting your groove, stop missing so many notes, start singing with it. And like, you, you, crowd's, crowd's okay right now. There, you're doing all right. Roll a final performance check. See how you end it. All right. So you get your shit completely together, and you just start going it. Like you're going at it. Crowd's actually starting to get a little into it. Uh, start throwing a little bit of money at you, actually. Oh. Um, but. You finish off with a like a flourish. Crouch like, at one, yeah. like, uh, at this, one point, Shin looks at the bartender and is like, "I know that guy." The, this performance has gone basically like any time you ever hear "City Escape," you're like, "Oh my god, not this song again!" And then like halfway through, you're like, "Gotta follow my rainbow." <laughs> <laughs> And then by the end of it, you're like, yeah. You're just like really it's, into This is the best oh fucking God. song. <laughs> it's it, the it's song that fam- stays rent free in your head. Yeah. It's that fucking Family Guy skit where Don't Stop Believing plays. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone from like different stuff. <laughs> yeah. <It's> like, uh. <laughs> but yeah, uh, as you poke around, like look around on the ground, you uh, scrounge up. Uh, let's see. Two silver least, uh, and four copper. Nice. Two silver and two copper? Four copper. Four copper. Four copper. These are not rich people. <laughs> That's fine. I was going to buy them all drinks, but I don't think I can oh, do that with the amount of money <laughs> I have. I could probably buy cheap drinks. I mean, cheap bells only like two, three copper. I mean, no, that's a... Is anybody here a beer snob? They don't give a shit. If I say Shin pipes up and goes... If they are, they don't want to drink for free. Do I see excitement on people's faces? Yes, yeah, it's about that. People, are like, yeah, no. it's like, yeah, I'll buy a round of your cheapest ale for everybody. <laughs> Shin knows how to work up a crowd okay, in a tavern so specifically. That would be ten. five silver. All right, so we'll do. Uh, I'll just give him a gold because that's a lot of drinks to pour. Okay, takes it. Everyone gets their drinks. They're they're all happy. Uh, Manic yeah, and Gaijin, 
even though y'all are in the rooms, y'all could tell when uh, Finnegan was like it, doing, like getting into the song. Yeah. You see, guy just like poking his head out, and he's like in a, he's in his robe and nothing else, but he just <laughs> pokes his head around the corner, and he's like jamming his fist. Hell yes. Uh, I feel like it's around his head too. Just medics in the chair. Gaijin's like naked except the robe. Uh, robe's open though. Um, and before everybody starts grabbing their drinks, can I hit it with a little prestidigitation to make it taste like a nice ice-cold beer you have after a long are, day? Are you making mm -hmm. this man line them all up across the bar, and then you hit it as you go? Yeah, through? like, you couldn't really do that. You're not, like... Yeah. I mean, you could, but it looked kind of weird if you're just going to each drink. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. that would be a little sus. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it for uh, myself and, and Shin. Right. Tastes better than cheap ale. It's kind of... he'll, he'll, it, Shin will cheer with Finn. All right. And then and uh, we'll he'll cheers. raise it up. He goes, anyone else? Yeah. Everyone's pretty drunk at this point. Yeah, I imagine there might be a dwarf or two that would raise their tankards. Yeah, there's, there's about three or four dwarfs. And uh, Shen will shout out in Dwarvis, you're going to deny a toast? No, I mean, they're, they're outside the effort. people went, yeah. No. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear that part. Uh, everybody chinks. Yeah, I just raised it. And uh, yeah. do it back. I'm going to you know, slam my drink back and be like, yeah, I think it's time for bed, fella. <sighs> Shen stands up and goes, oh. God, I could have a camel walk on my back for how much I'm feeling. Yeah, probably is. <laughs> uh, I'm going to ask one more question to the barkeep before we leave. I'm just going to give him a little finger gun. And, mm -hmm. uh, say, hey, um, you much of a reader? From time to time. Depends what the book is. What's your favorite book? Uh, he kind of laughs like uh, Tales of Amber. You got an extra copy? No. That's not how it works here. Sounds good. I'll find it at <laughs> a general store. Wait, is that then... Amber or Ember? Amber. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I will, uh... I'm gonna go to bed, and then I'm gonna fucking find a bookstore tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, tomorrow y'all won't be anywhere, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. When we get back to Wolf's Pond, I'll see if I can find it. I'll get right. at least, uh... Nervietta order it for me or something. Okay. So y'all feel free to take long rest now. Oh, thank God. Yeah, Shin thanks the barkeep and falls after fun. What are y'all doing about the bed situation? There's only one bed. Uh, I'll sleep on the floor. I'll, or actually, you know what? I was about to say, as we to... walk in, do we see Guy in the bed? Guy is in the bed. Manic in the chair. Manic is in the chair. <laughs> We've got another bed though, right? There was one other bed. I will shrink down as small as possible. That would be a gnome. Or halfling, okay, depending uh, on who you ask. But I personally think gnomes should be smaller than halflings. Alright, so I'll shift into a halfling and get on the corner of the bed and say, there's plenty of room for you, Shin. Please don't hurt me. There are about full-size beds. Well, I could, you know, sleep in between your legs like a dog. You're not going to fit in it regardless. Yeah, no, a full-size beddy, what? He's 6'8". I don't know. Full-size um, bed's not that big. <laughs> Yeah. Shin, wait, how many <laughs> pillows are on the bed? There are three. Shin grabs one pillow, picks up Finn, sets him up top, tucks him in, and then just, like, naps it down in the middle of the room. All right. Uh, that man can fall asleep on top of buildings. That's true. That is true. He's fine. Yeah, yeah. And he is very happy. He's there also is, there is also a carpet on the floor, so it, it probably Yeah, fine. that's... Everyone wakes up to Finn like burritoing himself, or uh, Shin burritoing himself with the carpet. <laughs> he didn't take a blanket. <laughs> uh, that's yeah. fair. Uh, are you saying but he's you fine? He's very. Well, you, when, as soon as you go to sleep, you go back to changeling for him anyway. Yeah. So Shin tucks you in, and he's like, "I got it. I've fallen asleep on worse." And he goes, <laughs> "I. This is the dumbest thing, but it would be funny if Shin like laid on one end, grabbed that in the carpet, and then rolled himself to the other." End. <laughs> I mean, if he's turning from a gnome to a, to a changeling, like, would it, you feel like a bump in the night when he grows or something like that? No. No, 
Yeah, it's probably been happening for twenty years now. You know? I mean, yeah, they're like they're that like. Can you imagine having being born with this ability? It's subconscious to him at this point. Right. That's why you can make a changeling fall out of their form if you like catch them off guard. Put them to sleep. Yeah, no, it's, it's not mad. It's not a magical ability. It's their natural physiology. It's not Maybelline. Mm. It's born with it. That's why it can't be detected but detect magic. Mm-hmm. Nice. Doesn't mean other ways can't detect it, but... <laughs> yeah, I like that crystal that I'm gonna steal when we get on this train. <laughs> uh, but yeah, y'all sleep through the night. Uh, since y'all had a nice meal and actually slept in a... Uh, in a bed, or relatively, yeah. Not in a bedroll, not eating rations. Y'all all gain a D4 inspiration for the next 24 hours. Ooh. Nice. Uh, everyone take their long rests, redo their aura and everything. Uh, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, do y'all want to take a quick break before we launch into heading to crying? Um, I'm good. I don't know about everybody else. Quick bio break. Yeah, Start walking. Break, yeah. That way, when we're done with the break, we're there. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. Y'all can, can say y'all were just yeah. doing the trip. Cool. Cool. But yeah, whoever needs to pee, go pee. All right, cool. We'll set to intermission. And y'all are heading back to crying. Takes 36 hours. We will assume at some point y'all do stop to rest. Well, it takes 36 hours because y'all do have to stop for about 10 hours. Uh, but y'all head out of town around 7 a.m. After about 6 a.m., uh, Quartz goes and wakes y'all up. Because <laughs> y'all mentioned about leaving. Around 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. Anyway, BRB. Uh, I guess we want to split up everything just after we collect the reward back in Wolf Pond. Good to me. If I'm fine with that. <laughs> Excuse me. Bob, you're gonna have a great time getting your suit, man. It's gonna be. I had a lot of, a lot of fun with it. Uh, now, are we I, gonna split up the gold and shit? Yeah, because I, because I did not have uh, any ideas. I, I like this road personally, so I'm excited to see what, what you got set up. Yeah, yeah. that'd be sweet. Uh, I do have a question. Are yeah, what gonna, you got? Are we gonna split up the gold, or are we just gonna do the community oh. thing? Uh, we'll probably just split up the gold when we get there, because I've got things I need to buy. I feel um, like... but... Uh, never that means mind. I gotta do some not... calculations real quick. Yeah, uh, and uh... Um... Never mind, I'll, I'm not gonna tell you guys that. Oh, well, it's fine to keep your secrets about stuff you wanna buy. It's well, it's not stuff uh, I wanna buy, it's like why I wanna buy stuff, and I don't wanna spoil it for anybody, because guys who has told me are one of the options we're going to have when we get back to the keep. You just told me nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm always in his DMs asking him all sorts of weird questions. Okay, so that's... Where's the other bed? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm back. I'm back. All good. Well, what did I miss? We're leaving at 6 a.m. We left at 6 a.m. We went, uh, we're walking through right now. We're probably just going to wind up right and crying when we get there. And then uh, we're going to hop on the train, head to Noscana, or head through Noscana to uh, Rune Moth, then head from Rune Moth to Wolf Pine, probably get there late at night and go see Krav. And then we're talking about splitting up gold when we get, after we get everything from Krav. But we'll go ahead and talk about getting our next mission before we split gold up and see what see what options he has so, sam log yeah, I, I told sam log i shouldn't have but i told him how dare how dare Also, Jabo, amazingly played scene there, my friend. Yeah, that was a good time. 
Sorry, it ended up taking longer than I thought it would. No, you're good. I went to bed because I really had to pee. Because you had to pee? I had to pee, so we ran <laughs> with the bed. That's, a, that's actually a really good RP moment. Let's see, the, it's the 100, the 50. Oh, no, no, wait. That's supposed to be a 50 because it's half, so... So guys, good news. Yeah. We're each getting two hundred gold. And from that's from... from 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 the mission alone. Yeah. And then what about from... Uh, we're, if we're splitting up what we found from the elemental, uh, 255 and a half copper, 66 and a quarter uh, silver, and 30 and a half gold. Plus the stuff we need to sell to Nervia. Yeah. An additional 38 39 gold just from the the loose change so all in all we're averaging around well not average yeah average uh 230 240 gold each of us it's nice yeah, it'd be a good time. Are we doing this up on the train? No, no. No, no I'm doing this beforehand we because we need to. Oh, okay. Game. Well, I meant I like. Is this what we're doing on the train? Possible? I don't know. I don't know when we're going to do this, but I need to do the calculations while we're on break. Yeah, do the calculations yeah, yeah, absolutely. before. We'll yeah. just do it when we get to the. We'll do it when we get all of our money. So, yeah, we're averaging around 238 gold. Everyone. Everyone gets around 238 gold. Nice, and then we'll sell our stuff the following morning when Nervia opens back up. Actually, Nervia's open 24 hours, isn't she? Yeah. I don't think she is. I'm pretty but sure is she, she not? has to sleep. I'm pretty sure she has to sleep. For she some reason, I remember... 24-7. That seems terrible. Well, I don't think she wants to, but I remember her saying she was 24-7. And It's in the notes. Hang on. I don't remember her saying 24-7 too, but to be fair, my memory is shit. Fair. And I don't know why I'm hanging on to this piece of info. I think it's because we went to it late at night. We have so much copper. Holy yes. shit, we have so much copper. <laughs> Uh, Nervia and Hunter's oh, wow. Haven is always open. The shops uh, open at 7 a.m. Yeah. So they're so, always open. Yeah, Nervia's Nirvana is always open. And so is the Hunter's Haven, which is the tavern. Which leads tavern. into my theory. I don't think Nervia is, tavern you know, is actually there. But I don't think she's open. She can't be open 20%. I think she is, because I think that's a projection. Did you, did you actually find it in the notes? Yeah. Yeah, it's on uh, Cliff Notes Session 4. Yeah. I remember her being open super late when we tried there, and she's like, I'm always open. The only reason I knew that was because I went through and high like when I went through and highlighted it, I was like, oh, it'd be good to know when all the shops are open. Mm -hmm. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, so, shit, guys, who's typing in chat? <laughs> she is. Similacrum or whatever. Yeah. Similacrum. Similacrum. Okay, gotcha. 
Okay, well, you guys didn't want to pronounce it badly. That's fine. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. Oh, so she... Okay, she has a body doubles. Well, they're not called doubles. They're called... Dude, she... That... She has another her that's ex exactly... No, I know. <laughs> I was leading myself to a, up to a joke I thought I could make, and then it just no. didn't play out of my head. You know what I was going to do? I was going to make Kanuna have a bunch of fucking summer life rooms. That was going to be an army of Kanunas. God, you that should That was my have. end game, but Adam, Adam shot it down because I couldn't have that spell. That's about to say, imagine that warping the world. <laughs> it's God of War. You have to defeat of Kanuna in every it, area. It, it's a six-level spell. And when you create something, it has all your spell slots. So it has a six level spell. So it could recreate me. So it could just keep keep infinitely that doing that. I just terrifying. No. <laughs> Army of Kanunas. You just keep casting um Oh god, what is the spell yeah. where just allows you to like create a tower? It's just called Tower? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Oh shit, it's an item too. Mm -hmm. Or you can just mansion. No, it's not. It's, it's, tower? Is that it? I, I, th I think that might be it. Where you just like create tower, and then tower and tower. <laughs> Kanuri just creates it atop self. He's at the top, and then just different versions of himself are down bottom. That would be insane, guys. Who don't pay attention to what we're saying right now. <laughs> Oh god, that's the fucking uh what is it in Fire Emblem? Alder's Tower. Mm-hmm. Contra two story tower made of stone wood or similar suitable sturdy materials. It's like an optional area where we can like go there to <laughs> That's not the BBEG, but that's like the world boss that's just sitting over to the side. That's the Adamantime Turtle from Final Fantasy XV. Hello. I mean, I'm... Hello. Hello. I'm kind of glad Adam kind of shot that down because that would have been so fucking broken. I think you're going to have one at a time. Terrifying. Pretty sure you can have another one. Yeah, Anyone would have found a way around that, that would have been Kanuna. It, it uses its spell slot when it, and it can't get spell slots back. So it loses its six level spell slot. But then again, it can cast it. I think it's one of those rule things that you can just argue. Because it's, it's vague. It lasts 12 hours. Just... It takes 12 hours to cast. Yeah. And it lasts it's until dispelled. Kanuna no, just has someone just cast it. Army Kanuna's. <laughs> oh, it also cost. Uh, it also so cost a ruber, a ruber, a ruby worth fifteen hundred GP, and it's consumed it. to consume by the spell. There's snow enough. No, no, it's, it's snow. It's snow or ice in quantity sufficient to make a life-size copy of the duplicated creature. Some hair, fingernail clippings, or a piece of that creature's body placed inside the snow or ice. And powdered ruby worth fifteen hundred GP, sprinkled over the duplicate and consumed by the spell. Yeah, but we're not. We wasn't using reagents in first cam campaign. I would have. I would have for that. <laughs> Do you want to yeah, build you, a ruby and cast a canoe? Well, you shot down the thing anyway, so. Also yes. It doesn't have to be a snowman. Are we waiting on a uh, Gaijin and twice? I'm here. Sound like you're dying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Oh, no. Yeah, sorry. I was like sideways and it made my voice sound weird. He's posting sideways. He's training sideways. Uh, everyone do mark off a ration. Because y'all are eating. I think I say why. We're on the train, but we're not we're not back at Yeah. You'll also lose your D4 inspiration. <laughs> fair but that's the bright side of like staying at like an inn where's my rations at oh i'll find my backpack there right, about to say they are in backpack not well they're in inventory but you gotta scroll down to backpack well that really depends where you can put them wherever <laughs> inventory is what's on your body on. inventory is <laughs> on back, your body boys. welcome back mark off a ration okay 
All right. So about 36 hours after leaving uh, Outpost Theta. You'll do make it back to Crime. Say your goodbyes to uh, Quartz. Uh, though it is currently about mm, 6 p.m. Ish. Yeah. Uh, no, 6 p.m. ish. I know, I'm joking. Okay. Well, let's head to the, uh, the train. All right. Uh, Court six camels with him. No, no issues. It's going good. Uh, it's going to take him back to Jalid. Um, I would like to pat his camel as he leaves. <laughs> oh, no, it's not a camel mix. <laughs> that was probably pretty close. Seems like the sound it would make. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you're wrong. Distressing. <laughs> Such a noble creature. <laughs> um, but anyway. Uh, Y'all just gonna go head to the train station? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I feel like that's the best idea. Familiar looking halfling woman behind the counter. Kind of waves. Welcome, welcome. Shin waves. Hello. How can I help you, boys? Uh, we are trying to get to Runemoth. Uh, yes. Uh, just pulls out a ledger. That train actually leaves in an hour. The next one, anyway. What now timing? Now, we go ahead and board? Uh, well, it's not here yet, but it should be here in the next 30 minutes or so. Do you have, like, a really nice cabin? Mm. Like First-class cabin? How much do those run? Hold on. And she's like, well, what train is it? Uh, no. Not on this one, no. This is standard. Nope rats that's fine probably can't afford it anyway uh the nicer ones don't always come out here too often uh usually you have to purchase like requests before like at like clem dot or another hubs hub place to have it I attached understand. one of these guys are gonna have to pay for my fare anyway well you know y'all have our own trip oh sweet remember anytime you yeah. buy anymore y'all are getting doing <laughs> was, getting them from Rumoth, I... you you get round trips that's I was about to say, up. Shin pipes up like, wait, we, we, I'm round sorry, ma'am, I think we already have round trip for this. Mm -hmm. And he, like, shows her the ticket. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, I'm back to Rumoth then. You know, we're hunters, yeah. right? Those hunters, yeah. and Rumoth hunters can buy spe special round trip tickets. Hunters and RMP yes, are the only ones that get them. Yeah, Shin just kind of says, yes, ma'am. Well, and the extremely wealthy. Uh, well, we are hunters. Okay. <laughs> Salsha says, okay. Hmm. So yeah, train should be here in about 30, 45 minutes. Y'all can board. And... Anything y'all need to take care of before then, feel free. Um, Is there a library close by? Or like a bookstore? You have no idea. You'd have to ask. I have no idea, I guess. I don't have time, so I'll get a... <laughs> yeah, I'll just ask Nervia. Nervia will get it for me. <laughs> Maybe. Uh... Anything y'all hey, need to take care of or just books? Or y'all just wanna like, skip forward to the train? I'm done to skip forward to the train. Ask me to steal someone blind. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so the train shows up, y'all get on. And it heads out for uh Steel Pass. Into Nascana. No real issue. Took about six, seven hours to get here. Goes through Ishikati. Uh takes about eight hours to get through Nascana. About Seven, eight hours to get through North Pass. Down to Clem Dot, about another nine, ten hours. So that's six. And about eight more. So almost two days before y'all get back to uh, Rumah. But I'll grab y'all. So we're going to say it's about, we'll say two and a half days. We'll say train. Because train's going through Nascana. Especially from the Chevrolet Empire, I'll always get slowed down. That's playing the same song. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Um, Rumoth. Yeah, y'all are back in Rumoth, and it's about 8 a.m. ish. I usually get the times better in the uh, actual adventure log than I do in, in session. 
A guy wants to get home and order his pimp outfit, so y'all want to go ahead and hit the road? I'm fine with it. Alright, we're just going to head on to Wolfpine. Right, about two hour yeah. walk through... We don't need to hang around. Two hour walk through the forest. About We've been traveling for days, two hours is nothing. Yeah, about 10, uh, about 10 a.m. or so, y'all make it to... Wolf Pine. Uh, it's a little quiet. I mean, it's not the like, biggest biggest town, but it's a little quiet in Wolf Pine. Like too quiet? A little bit. Like it's 10 a.m. You don't really see anyone. Yeah, Shin just kind of notes that as we're walking past. Like, uh, guys, I haven't seen anyone yet. Where is it? Is that weird? He's like the... at HQ. Huh. Must be that time. Just kind of like walking in front of everyone with his hands. Now, like I don't, I don't see anybody, y'all. And then, yeah, I guess well, we wait, wait, hold on. HQ. It's not like it's a ghost town. It's just less people than usual, right? Uh, y'all, y'all haven't seen anyone since y'all got into town. Okay. Yeah. We go to a like. Should we go to hit, hit the HQ? Or God just yells, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> uh, Shin actually pulls out the small breaker sword and shield and is like, let's move on. And he's like not carrying it threateningly, but he's just kind of carrying it with him as he's moving forward. Y'all just are y'all uh, going to hit HQ or where are y'all going? Yeah, I was about to say, do you want me to move myself or are we just marching? So I, know. I guess we're just heading to the HQ then. Alright, uh... You're gonna about... You know, y'all are passing by the tavern. Uh, what are y'all's passive perceptions? Uh, 12. 11. 13. I don't think... 12. Uh, 12 and 13. You guys hear kind of a muffled boom. Hold up. Yeah, I park up. Can we hear where it came from? From HQ. Yep, Shin just kind of like drops his shoulders a little bit and he's like, something crazy, boys. Let's go. Right. And he starts running Probably. forward. Guy says, they must be having a party. As y'all get closer, y'all ever once, every so often would hear another boom. And even as y'all get even closer, y'all start hearing pop, 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 like gunshots. Yeah. Because I could. Can I discern it as explosions? Mmm, yeah, explosions of some sort. Wonder attack. Yeah, how about to say Shin yells at Manic. No, it doesn't sound like there's a lot. Like, hard to tell though. But y'all are going, it sounds like it's coming from, like, the main hall as y'all get closer. Could I still sprint with Manic on my shoulder? Probably. I'm faster than you. Yeah, I know. Yes. But that would be more of us for arriving at one time. So I'll call y'all. If y'all are taking off, I need to. Somebody. I need a decision if y'all are running though. Well, if we're all gonna run, I'm gonna keep up with you. I'm not gonna. Okay, I'm you're not, not running ahead of everyone. Uh, hey, I was no, about to, okay, yeah, that would I'm be the best case for you to keep up with us. Yeah, I'm not. So stupid. yeah, you just sit on my shoulder while I sprint, and we all sprint together. That's a, yeah. No. All right, so y'all are all just going into the main hall together. Yep. All right, so that's how we're going. Yeah, just every so often, pop, pop, you sound sounds like gunshots, sounds like something, boom. Uh, can't tell anything from outside. Uh, but as y'all go inside, you'll see kind of a crowd has gathered in front of the steps. Uh, a little bit further in front of it, you see two of the hunts masters kind of making everyone stay back. And even further out still, you see uh, the hunt master, uh, the guild master, Seymour Griswold, and Tarkas seem to be fighting. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Can I um, roll a perception to determine whether it's like a fight to the death or like a training fight? Uh, you can roll perception. Like, like, just to determine if the fight's actually a fight or a spar. I guess that'd be more insight. Okay, cool. Uh, I have a question. Are these two right here dwarves? Yes. Okay, Shin's just going to oh. move up right behind them and start looking. Uh, with 12 and uh, 
Or neither you can really tell. They, 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 like, they both look pretty beat up, though. And the guild hall itself looks pretty damaged, at least over there where they're at. Can I roll a perception to see if they're like, fatally attacking each other or just fighting? Uh, that'd be inside again. Oh, okay. You have no idea. Say 4,000. All right, well, the 24, Manic. Yeah, you can't... It looks serious. Like... You're not sure. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Let me through. Let me through. Let me through. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, Shin will start moving forward on. with him then. Too. Hold on. That. Push him hold on. Away. Sorry. Uh, as you go to push through her, that was uh, a familiar or human woman kind of stopped. She's like, whoa, 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 you don't want to get close to them. Yeah, but we, we came back from the shit. Yeah, now uh, this is going we on. Have a mission to deliver. We have to go to that desk right there. As this is going on, Seymour is like taking shots with his gun. Uh, Tarkus is firing off magic. He's more look. Tarkus looks more to be defending himself than attacking. Manic or uh, Shin looks up at Manic. Manic, does he need to hear this now? Because I, mean, I can get you close. I'm pretty sure this is that. This is about her. Her daughter. He probably yeah. found out. Need a decision. They're still fighting. Like, Tarkus is slinging spell, like, more defending himself. But when Seymour drops his guard a little bit, Tarkus has hit him with, uh, specifically Thunder Wave is what he, he likes. Uh, do you know, okay, I'm gonna ask, uh, do you know why they're fighting? No idea. Uh, Manic, are you still on my shoulder? I don't think he ever got on your shoulders. I never got on your shoulder. No, oh, I thought you got on my shoulder to sprint here with us. No, no, he just kept, he just kept pace. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. Delete some notes. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Uh, Y'all want to try anything? Like this is starting to get pretty oh. brutal. Uh, can I can I use my changeling ability to make my voice more booming? Uh, no, it only affects your physical ability. Your physical uh, it, appearance. It can change my voice too. Yeah, but he can't. Oh, I mean, I guess you can make it a little deeper, I guess. Um, so I'll just shout as loud as I can with my vocal powers, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and say, uh, she's okay. Uh, roll performance. Oh. 14. All right, hold on. I'm going to use my D4 inspiration. Y'all lost it. It's gone. It was only that 24 was a, hours. That was, that was a day ago. Uh, yeah. Uh, but when you say that, uh, Seymour, who has his gun still pointed at Tarkus, stops, kind of cocks his head. Tarkus even kind of cocks. Yeah, you see Tarkus kind of like face light up. He's like, <laughs> finally. <sighs> uh, and Seymour kind of looks and kind of like motions for you to come forward. His gun still pointed at Tarkus. We all forward, or just listen. Uh, it just motion. So if y'all want to move forward, move forward. Oh yeah. Sorry, um, I was typing notes. No, I was just standing there, being like, "What are they doing down there?" <laughs> I'm gonna say we uh, we found the members of the Akashic Institute. Let's see more. Kind of looks like. Show me the contract. Uh, show me. The contract. You won't be able to read no. that part. Tarkus goes. He he can. Okay, and I'll whip it out. Mm. Oh wait, how how long have Guy you been really doing this? Be over there, and he just awkwardly runs across the room. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I guys. Just needs to chat. <laughs> Tarkus goes fourteen hours. What like, about? Uh, oh, oh shit! Jesus Christ! And yeah, as you look at them, they're both like covered in sweat. They're bleeding. Like they they are both just they look like shit. Uh, I'm gonna. Shit looks up. And says she crawled out before we got there. He looks at it and says, "says incomplete." It's got half a star, so let me explain what happened. Can you put the gun down? You can put it back up, whatever you want, but just right now, can you put it down? Tarkus goes, "Please, Seymour, just listen." He looks and moves in between them, and he kind of spins the gun, puts it on the holster on his side. He looks annoyed now, but he's looking at you. He's like, "Go on." So, when we got to the Drawman Caves, we found Conrad Dimblenop. He is an associate of Heather. Mm -hmm. 
he said that they had been attacked by uh oh shit driders driders um, they were attacked by driders he said that he saw heather get away we cleared that entire cave there was no trace of her there was a ton of dead bodies and there was no trace of her we searched all of them um you can attest that to these shitty daggers that we have at our reach into Manic's purse and pull out of. You mean the javelins? The, yeah, these shitty javelins. Like, uh, shit, shit, pipes we up. Searched it, was, it was a roll she cave. Hey, look. Is he still standing there in front of. Seymour just kind of looks over at the contract and says, Well, incomplete does imply that y'all didn't. Okay, that she, there was no dead body. So y'all, y'all, y'all were told she, she did escape. She climbed the ladder. Yeah. We were told she escaped, climbed the ladder, got out. He kind of sighs, like, well, knowing Heather, even if y'all would have found her, she would have gotten away from you. He kind of looks over. That's probably true. He looks over at Tarkus, it's like, you didn't have to lie to me, Tarkus. And Tarkus stands up, he's like, ah, oh, but then how would I get you to spar with me? You never want to take it seriously. And he, as he's saying that, he's kind of like, he, he looks relieved. <laughs> like, Tarkus is far worse off than Seymour is. You have a dare to Uh, me. I'm gonna slide down to Tarkus and say, we can talk about a bonus later. <laughs> he just rolls his eyes. It's like, well, I'm gonna go... Oh, actually, I can't go anywhere yet. But do see, uh, Krav about your reward promptly, please. Yeah, you guys go, uh, see a doctor. How about that? And... And Seymour just kind of walks off, and he, you see him go up the stairs. And as he gets up, he looks over at the crowd. He's like, get the hell out. Y'all have work to do. And just... Uh, I'll, sh I'll shout to him as he's leaving and say, uh, call the Akashic Institute. They might, uh, she might have made it back by now. Kind of start, slightly turns his head a little bit and keeps walking off. Uh, Shin immediately turns around and starts looking at Tarkus, making sure he's okay. Uh, he's a little worse for wear, but, uh, roll medicine, actually. That's I'm rolling medicine, I'll look over it twice and be like, can you help? Yeah, I'm gonna hit him with a healing word. Because that's a three. You can hit him with a healing word. You want to help? I'm gonna catch yeah. up. All hands on deck, Manic. Hey, Literally. Yo. Slap him with your hands. Mm -hmm. Eight. Oh, that's an eight. Healing word. Okay, so you, you heal him, and he looks a little better. He still looks pretty fucked up. He's like, I'm, I'm fine. Ugh. Yeah, I'm sure that barely healed him ten percent. Sorry, we're late. We tried. He's like, good. damn, Seymour just did not pull that kid, throw, pull back, pull his punches at all. That gun fucking hurts. Yeah. If he if he needs help, Shin will like offer a like shoulder from throwing arm and over the two other guild masters walk up and they're just like both kind of look like they're judging it was like see we told you not to keep it a secret well, now, you know, now look at you 2020 <laughs> and as the woman particularly I'm... is berating him you see her reach her hand down and as she touches him like majority of his uh wounds heal oh well just put your dick on the table next time <laughs> She just looks at you, she's like, why? Just because you know it's bigger than yours? I don't have one, I'm a Ken doll. <laughs> oh, okay, well, on that subject, to be <laughs> fair, we knew she left well before we even delved into the dungeon. Do we tell him that? No, that's fine, that's fine. He, he's calmed down now, at least. Uh, he was mostly mad that I was hiding something and he knew it was about Heather. He didn't know specifically what... There. Do y'all want to know? Should we debrief y'all? Like, uh, I'll be. I'll come over there with Krav, and he then he turns and looks. He says, "Thank you, Trent, and sorry about all that. Thank you for not stepping in. Stepping in wouldn't have helped anything if he was mad at all of us." And both the hunters just kind of nod, and you see them kind of walk off. A guy just says. God's not gonna lie. I had no idea that fault involved uh, that fight involved us. I'm glad you said something. I was just gonna watch. <laughs> oh, that's funny. He's just shaking his head. Tarkus is like, fair. "Well, shall we?" And he like motions over towards the desk. 
Uh, I'm gonna say, aren't you glad we didn't take all ten days? Oh, I could have held out a little longer, but yes. He walks behind the desk. Krav is just... Krav is judging him. And he's like, you need to watch your form. Just because you're a master doesn't mean you still can't learn... Go over the basics. Like, Boy, I love fucking Krav. <laughs> and Tarkus is just kind of like, oh my god. It's all about fundamentals, man. You're trying to be too flashy out there. <laughs> exactly. That's pretty much what Krav is saying. <laughs> It's like, just because you're a spellcaster doesn't mean you can go can ignore the fundamentals of combat. I'm surprised Seymour didn't take your head off at least three times. What's this food? Uh, but anyway, after that, and Krav just turns, yes, boys. Yeah. Uh, well, Krav, I think you're going to be proud of us on this one. And I slap it on the table. And I'm going to ask Tarkus uh, what he would have actually ranked this mission. Targus looks over the contract. Hmm. Well done, well done. Uh, and he signs it off at the bottom and hands it over to Krav. Uh, he says, well, I don't know. I'd have to hear what y'all did. Well, oh, uh, buddy. Yeah. We don't have to go over every detail if y'all want to. How much time do you have? You want to say, can we just say we said everything to them? Uh, who, who's regaling the story? Is all, are all y'all regaling? Yeah, I think we're all talking at one time. <laughs> well, everyone... <laughs> Everyone roll, I, uh... I, I elect uh, Manic to say it, and then we all just pitch in for random. Okay, that'd be advantage. Uh, Manic, that would be... Uh, let's just go with just a charisma check. Just see how well you orient, orient, orientate. Orientate. Or, orientate? Charisma check. Orientate? I don't know. At advantage. It's almost a fucking 18. 11. Hey. So you get you get all the information across pretty good. Uh, people interrupt, kind of talk over you a little bit sometimes. But overall, you get all the information out. And Tarkus goes, hmm, interesting, interesting. So you fought an undead illithid, and um, I'm gonna... He kind of looks at Croft. Sounds like a mind witness, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Croft's like, I... Yeah, here, look at this. And I'm gonna pull the illithid's head out of the back. <laughs> yeah, oh, they had a back. brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's kind of a, it's a skull, it's a bone, it's a skull, it's a skull with like tentacles on it. And you're kind of like, Tarkus kind of looks at it and goes, well, that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> oh, I thought this would be something that somebody might want. Oh no, someone might, but it's, it's fucking disgusting. Uh, a lot of stuff we found there was disgusting. Um, hmm, it might have been an E-rank. What do you think, Krav? Like, I might, maybe, maybe on the low end of E-rank. Uh, but it sounds like y'all had some help from this Conrad guy, too, though, so kind of balances out. Yeah, super cool uh, We guy. really yes. helped him. If, if we hadn't shown up, he would probably still be staying in that cave in the dark looking at signs on the wall. We we did all the work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, Croft starts, like, he pulls out a fairly large bag. It's like, well, here you go, boys. And he like, slides it across the table. He's like, oh, but while you're here, and he kind of looks at Tarkus, like, we should tell them about the other thing, right? And Tarkus says, oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot with the, with the fight with Seymour. Uh, kind of rung my bell a little bit. And, he kinda, and then Tarkus kind of smiles, and he pulls out a rolled up piece of parchment, and, place, and, hand, and he's just holding it out over the desk. This is for you boys. Thank you very much. Guy takes it, and he right. bows. He goes, really appreciate you. All right, first, 800 gold. The The pouch is 800 gold. If y'all want to divide that, it's 200 apiece. Nice. That was what y'all got from the contract. Um, As for what he just handed you, if you go to your journal, there is a dual embryon under notes. Parkus, did I you tell them that I called them bitches? I'm uh, sorry. Yes, yes, I did. My shit cut out for the past 45 seconds. What happened? Uh, put add 200 gold. That was your cut from the uh, Drama Cades oh. mission. And y'all got a special uh, challenge from Embry Embry yeah, Embryon. Now, how would you feel if I told Seymour that you called him a bitch? He just kind of motion looks motions over to the partly destroyed area over here. I really want that to happen. So I'm just saying, he already thinks he's a liar, you know, so even even if he told the truth and said he didn't say it. 
Anyway, whether or not you take the challenge is up to you boys. But they have made a formal uh, declaration. Shin looks up. How long do we have to uh, accept that? 24 they... hours. Ah. Shin kind of cracks his neck. Well, we've been chowing, lads. I still think they're bitches. If you do accept the challenge, it will be prepared for tomorrow at noon. Let's do it. I am down to take down the embryos. <laughs> uh, it will cost 400 gold. That is the bet. Hmm. So it's double or nothing, basically. Essentially. You put up 400, you win, you win 400. So we each uh, have to put in 100? Yeah. Okay. Guy is oh. down. Alright, I'm down. Shin? Guy takes 100 gold and hands it to uh, Manic. <laughs> Shin and Manic, are y'all in? Um, can, can you can y'all hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Sorry. I think I think it's fixed. I sorry. I reset a few things. Uh, so it's a hundred gold for each of us. Yes. To accept. Yep. Yeah. Shin smashes a hundred gold down on the table. All right, Mac. Are you in? Counter. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, how long will it take for a weapon to be infused? Mm, you don't know offhand, are you asking? Yeah, I'm asking. Uh... Mm, Tarkus says, well, if you take it over to Sin, she can probably do it in about 12 hours. I can have it before the fight. Yeah, if you get to him today, yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, if you get to him in the next, uh, because it's about 10.30. You get to him in the next hour or so. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'm throwing in 100. All right. So y'all are accepting the challenge. All right. Nice. Krav takes it. It's like, I will make sure to let Embryon know. Um, the fight will be at noon at the uh, Guild Plaza, which I'll show you guys. Fight? Yeah, it's a fight. I thought that we were having like a cooking competition. <laughs> uh, this is the plaza. Shin turns around. If it's any consolation, I think we'd win that too. So uh, here. Yeah, right. Right yeah. there, the little nub above where we are. This. No. Oh, oh. This. Yeah, yeah, no, gotcha. right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Guys, uh, dude, to see how the rest of the session goes, uh, would we be able to do that fight tonight? Yeah, we can. Okay. Y'all want to do what we need to do and get this going? Let's do it. Guy has nothing he really needs to do except for um, get, get the suit, but... You pretty much got that taken care of, so right. I'll just tag along until we get there. Yeah, it's only, oh, about, oh, a, it's only I, about 11 right now, so if y'all want to do anything, y'all got pretty much all day. I am yeah. sprinting to the blacksmith. <laughs> You're just sprinting to say, say we. I am going to eat. Let's, Leia, yeah, we, we follow, because I got some stuff to do that too. We follow Manic. So everybody, Manic's just like, oh shit, <laughs> it just takes off running. Um, Efrit's arms. Manic gets there first. Then after about a minute or two, y'all manage to make it in. Manic, uh, it's already got Singe to take attention, but now we're going to say Singe just got to the counter. Like, right. What do you need? I want an infusion. Pull mm -hmm. out my gauntlets, place them on the table. Mm -hmm. All right. It. How much is it? Uh, what are you infusing? Uh, I pull out the plus one dagger. I'm oh, he looks like, like oh a transfer. Yes. Okay. He puts the dagger on top of the gauntlet. Moves it Wrong to the way. side. He's like uh, it'll take me about 12, 16 hours, and that'll be about two hundred fifty gold. Uh, Perfect. hang on a second. Is Shin what? just like sets the breastplate on the counter. Yeah, he looks at it and he goes, "It's big." Hi. What about that? And you sharpen something for me. Uh, mechanically speaking, sharpening doesn't do much. God dang. Is there anything like for an extra little bit plus a big tip for him I could do to the great axe? Really, just enchanting it would be about all you could do. No way to make that plus one. That's enchanting. 
Yeah, I would say in the same time, since it's just not a magical mm. thing. Well, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I could do it. Absolutely. But when do you need the Great Axe by? Tomorrow afternoon. Oh, yeah. After this is all over. Oh, if you're not on time frame, yeah, I could do it. No, yeah, okay, cool. Shin slaps the Great Axe on the table. So, kind above, of smiles at Manic. Above game. You have a weapon. Are you sure you want to do that? Are you sure you want to t take on another weapon besides your hunter weapon? Especially enchant it. And can I interject? Oh, wait, no, all right. Hang on a second. Are mine? Oh, wait, no. For some reason, I thought our weapons were already plus one. No, 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 no. No. Um, could I get him to... Wait, no, I need that for my shield. <laughs> if you want a plus one, you your weapon and so it's just going to cost you 500 gold or if mm. we can find a plus one weapon because manic's using a plus one uh dagger y'all found, found okay uh then i will just slap the uh breastplate yeah still slap the breastplate on the table and kind of looks at it it's like hmm, pretty good pretty well made it's huge where the hell did you get this Buddy, we don't have time to tell you, but I will come back and tell you. <laughs> All right, so what are you, are, are you looking to resize or sell? What are, what are we doing? No, no, I'm looking to pay for his. Uh, Dude, plus, no, give me a little interest for when I come back and want to add something to this, and I kind of pull out Stormbreaker or Squall Breaker. Hmm? Oh. He looks over at the breastplate and says, well, i give you about 200 gold for this. How much uh, did it two, cost you again, Manic? Uh, 250, excuse me. So it'd cover yeah. his, the transfer. No, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll Sounds just slap it on good. the table. All right, if that's what y'all want to do, just straight trade. No, I... Yeah. Hmm? It's kind of shrugs. All right, works for me. And he puts the breastplate behind the counter, mm -hmm. slides the gauntlets and dagger over. Anything else? Uh, Yeah, we got a big fight tomorrow. Is there anything we can do to get that done uh, before then to make sure? Yeah, he looks at the clock and is like, I'll have this done by tomorrow morning when I'm open. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, do we need to go? Y'all want to go to Nervia's now? I mean, Manic still has a fuckload of shit to sell if he needs to, if oh, he wants to. Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, so let me remove the dagger. Because. Wrong dagger. Shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got three daggers. Uh, regular daggers, uh, mm -hmm. two light hammers, two long swords, two short swords, uh, five of the negative one javelins. I don't think he wants them. just everything in the uh handy haversack except the uh mine witness high and skeletal squid head. Pretty much, all right. And do you want to give that battle axe or you want to keep that as a keepsake? Oh, no, I'm keeping the battle axe, that's totally fine with me. He looks over everything. He's like, I'll give you 125 gold for the lot. 130? For persuasion. Uh, yeah, he, he rolled a 17 on his save, so he's like, 125. Alright, well, fair enough. 125 days. Alright, add 125 gold. And so mark off everything. Subtract. Should it be 50 then since it's 250? Well, no, Shin covered that. Oh, the breastplate totally covered it? Yeah, 250. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, 125, right? Yep. And take everything out of the haversack except the, the mine witness eyes and skeletal squid head. Oh, by the way, the item is consumed in the transfer, too. Just in case y'all didn't know. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Shin does like kind disenchant. of. Rules from well. Uh, how much did Manic receive? 125. 125. Counting all the uh, the the uh, shit that I still have, because we haven't split that up. I have I have 560 gold. No, that's fine. I'm just writing it down for notes. Uh, Shin will walk up and kind of pull out the battle axe and just kind of sit it on the table. 
What do you make of this? Looks like not one of mine. Eh, it's Thunder Fury brand. Hey, it picks it up. Anything about it? I looks at it. It's like, mm, yeah, that's an old family from the uh, Chevalier Empire. Mm. I've been around for a hundred years or so. Ooh. Oh, I forgot. Do you sell books here? No. Why do we buy a book? No books. Be no oh, nervous. sorry. Forgot where we were. Got uh, sheets it back on his like back. Hackers and... everywhere. <laughs> Looks around. Guy could make books. <laughs> the guy doesn't know how books are made, though. Are you trying to sell the great axe, or? No, no, just wanted your professional opinion on it because I assume we're huh. kind of friends. I mean, it's normal great axe. It's pretty good, pretty decent quality. Can't can't complain. No, I... It won't break on I you. Appreciate... My Dwarvish is uh, pretty good, but just wanted to make sure. He kind of looks at the rest of you like, anything else? You don't have to be friends with him if you don't want to. I know he just kind of put that on you. <laughs> Shin around, I just like making friends, guy. I want to be his friend. He seems I, mean, I do too, but I'm not that desperate. Uh, yeah. Do we want to split this gold up 40-40 and give 45 to Manic? Wait, 30, what? 30, 35. What? Wait, for with, what? With the gold, the 125 we have in gold. For the sale of all the stuff. Yeah. Oh, let's talk, let's yeah. Let's talk about what cool. Manic just got. Yeah, I'll take 30 if Manic takes 35. Yeah. I'll take 30. So you'd subtract 90, Manic? Subtract 90? Okay, cool. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Rest you add thirty gold and uh you got anything else from Cinch? Uh no, we can just go to Nervius if that's cool. There we go. Alright, to Nervius. Yep. Alrighty. Da, da, da. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, do, 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 do. That's the sound of teleportation. No, that's the sound of Cartoon Network. That's the sound of my every time I get a Facebook notification. I know, <laughs> but it reminds me of Cartoon Network. Alright, so y'all head over to Nervius. And uh, as you're Welcome. Still staying by the door. She's more We're, back. We're back. We're back. Oh, I don't have control. Oh, hold can't on. Move me. Hold on. <laughs> there you go. And she's like, "Welcome, welcome. How can I help you, darlings?" I've uh, got have... some stuff I think you're gonna really like. Mm. She kind of just mm, at that. Uh, and then I pull out two perfect large Umber Hulk eyes and two small Umber Hulk eyes. She does. She does. Her eyebrows kind of raise that. Mm. Picks them up. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, I also have this, and then I put the uh, the skull of the. What's it called? The undead? The illithid. The yeah, the illithid. You just gonna put it on the table? Yeah. She picks it up and is like, huh. Hmm. Where the hell did you find this? I cut it off of a body that was attacking me. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, are, you trying, found us. are you all trying to sell this, or...? Um... Well, yeah, and then he's got some stuff too. Do you have the eyes of that that mind thing? We that... yeah, my witness eyes. They yeah. got five small ones. So you're just putting the mind witness eyes, the Umber Hulk eyes, and the skeletal squid head all on the table. Yeah. She's like, what the fuck? Oh, and then this. What's this? And then I pull out the palm-sized <laughs> blood crystal. She looks at it and like, I kind of look, gets closer. And is like, I have no idea what the hell that is. Well, um, we'll sell that to you too. Probably Can worth you a little bit. Just imagine, like, dude, just two random smokes just come out and just start dumping this shit on the table. Hey, this shit. She looks at the crystal and's like, that is weird. I don't know if it's really worth anything, to, though. Uh, it's a blood be... crystal for blood magic. You don't know that. Uh, but are you just saying that? I mean, I have a. Uh, that's what I think it is. So. Okay. <laughs> just looks I like... mean, th th that's what Guy was saying back at the thing that it was all blood magic. Yeah. She looks at it and is like, I don't know exactly what it is, but I'll give you. 
Uh, five gold for it? Eel, I don't have any use for it. No. So you can have five gold to your inventory for that twice. Right. Uh, now she looks over the other items, so it was two large Umber Hulk eyes, two small Umber Hulk eyes, uh, skeletal squid head. How many mine witness eyes? Um, five. Five, okay, so... Uh, she goes, I'll give you 400 gold for all of it. 420. I was going to say 422. <laughs> Persuasion? We'll say you said it at the same time, so advantage. Soft 20. Alright. She goes, mm, Alright, alright. Fair enough. 420 it is. I knew you liked us. Pog. <laughs> uh, we'll dish it out. How much is that? Let's see. 105. 105, yeah, 105 a piece. A piece. So everyone add 105. Guy Jin and Shen. I have a oh, hundred. Say 105. Yes. Yeah. While I've got you here, I do have a question. Yes. And she's already put the stuff away. Like magically, she just it all went away. I'm looking for a book. Um. It is a uh, book called The Tales of a a Amber. She just kind of laughs, like, that's a classic. What? Why, why, why are you looking for that? Um, well, this really nice bartender said that it was his favorite book. And it's a lot I of people's favorite. Like just... It's a popular story of Amber Alert and uh, the defeat of the Ten Wise Men. It's yeah, actually well, written by, it uh, it's actually, it was written by Christoph Krausler. Interesting. Who is that? Yeah, who's that? Uh, I was uh, a member of the Arthal Intelligence Division that uh, was investigating Wardrick during the Ten Wise Men incident, and he gave somewhat of a helping hand to Amber Alert. He's still alive? He, he also invented the cow units. Wow. What a smart guy. Is he still alive? Oh, no. He, he died uh, 150 years ago or so. Could you get your hands on an autograph copy for me? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if any still exists because it kind of it's been so long they kind of get republished. Uh, might have some luck in Crismont if you ever find yourselves up there. They has a monument. That's where his grave is. Cool. Oh, I've seen that place. <laughs> the, but as for just the the regular regular copy, you uh, you got one here, and I can get the general store for that. <laughs> She says, it's like, I actually do have a spare copy. I was going to give it to my uh, niece for her birthday, but that's four months away. So I will sell it to you, but I'm going to upcharge you and it'll be two gold for the convenience. Okay. Now, I will make a deal with you here. Mm -hmm. If I upcharge you two gold, will you forge Kristoff's signature in here? I have no idea how he would sign his name. Why don't you just matter do to that? me? Can, I don't have a illusory script. <laughs> That's why. It's like I will not magically forge it for you. That's fine. And then she looks and's like, for less than a thousand. Forgery is yeah. a crime in Arthal. Yeah, but it's not like you're notarizing it. <laughs> but still, if I can if I can charge you a thousand gold for something, why wouldn't I? I agree. I agree. All right. Um, let me add this to my notes. Tales of Amber. Tales. And it is about a 560-page book. It's a big one. Right. And then I have what monsters volumes. Well, one, correction, two. correction. It's about 250 pages, and it says part one. It's a three-part series. Do you have all three parts? No, I only bought it. That was getting the first one for her. Oh, good. Um, I'll find the other two after I finish the first one. How about that? She just kind of shrugs. like, your call. I won't have them. Yeah, I think so. Maybe yeah, we can I'll get I'll them on them. our journeys. I'll find them. So um, I, probably any books, any bookstore would carry it. Many general stores probably would, too. I mean, it's a very popular series. Um, I think that's it for me here. Does anybody else need anything? Do we have anything else to sell? No, but at this point, Shin kind of begrudgingly is walking up and 
kind of side glances at her and goes, I, I, I have a few questions. She looks like yes. How much do you know about blood magic? It's like not my area of expertise. Uh, you know, I believe she. Like... I believe she told y'all before she, that uh, she's transmutation specialty. Gotcha. Does so, she know it's anybody? the barbarian asking. So I'm trying to play in character. She might not know. So he's just asking because he's like, "Hey, she knows a lot of stuff." Yeah. So, unfortunately, no, I do not know anything about that. It's not my area of specialty. Um. <sighs> Honestly, if you're looking for experts on that, you'd be more lo- likely to find them in the tribe lands. Some people out on the mainlands do practice it, uh, and even in the Central Isles, but uh, they're few and far between. Some people look down on it, um, which is kind of weird to me because uh, so you use your own blood. I mean, some spells can use other people's blood, but you mostly use your own blood, so I don't get why it has such a bad rap, but uh, it just personally didn't interest me. Shin kind of like cold stares at her and goes, do you know anyone who would know anything about someone who uses other people's blood? Um, and he has like a desperate look on his face. Like, mm, not really. Again, you would have to be more likely to find that in tribe lands than anywhere else. Don't know. Just. Sucks. We don't want to know more about it. Oh, <laughs> I do have. Uh, no, we more. don't want to know more. It's just. I'm going to slap down the good condition book I found and say, hey, can you read this? She picks up, looks at it. It's like, what the fuck? How many English is this? You see her wave her hand. It's like, doesn't even work with the decipher? What? With comprehend language? She kind of slams up. What, what is this? It's a pretty That's... sweet book I found, and I think it's worth a lot of money. I, if I, good can, book. I can't read it. Who could read this? This guy. And then I hand it to the dumbest guy in our group. Mm. Uh, Shin just like opens it up and goes, yep, yep, yep. Wait, you can't read this? Uh, Shin, by the way, it is uh, it is uh, essentially like uh, a raw she Kama Sutra. Mm-hmm. His uh, cheeks are blushing as he's staring at her. He turns to, he turns but to he's just, sideways. Yeah, he, he's trying to keep a straight face as he's staring at her. He's like, oh, you can't read this? It's like, absolutely not. Comprehend language doesn't even work on it. Like, is it even a... Is it, mm-hmm. <laughs> Jen, she aren't snaps you the, the book closed. That language isn't that a dead language? Guy, she got like dead language. No, yeah. it's not dead. It's very much alive. Me and my people know it very much. So, Jokes. Ah, well, shit. Uh, well, you know, like Latin or Pig Latin. Dang it! I, I shouldn't have told you that, but yeah, yes, ma'am. It it, it is. Hmm. I didn't think they had their own language. No, oh. well, yeah, but you didn't I think they used to live in the sky either. <laughs> it's just it's very good the sky. What, ma'am? I'm gonna ask you if you could keep your ear out for uh, some blood language. If anyone comes across here asking about blood magic, would you please let me know? Charts like if I remember, sure. Thank you. I I would like to replace your door. What? It's fine. I I know. I just I, I ran into it last time. I just. It's like look, it's fixed. It's like I have magic. <sighs> like she picks up. She a didn't gla- let she me pi- pay for it. She picks up a glass bottle and like chucks it at the wall. And it shatters and then she just waves her hand. And it comes back together into her hand. It's like it's. She just I'm looks pat, over. It's like for some reason on this does not make me feel said... better. I pat Shin on the shoulder and look at her and say. Hey. He's a good kid. Mm. Not not the brightest, that one. He's I, not. He's a good kid. I, I don't glow. You're right. Oh, shit. Right back. Looking over himself. This is funny because I think he's older than me. No, you're the oldest, uh, Manic. Oh, I am? Manic's like 26. I think Shin's 20. I'm 20. Look at my day. So that was everything <laughs> we had left to sell, fellas. Mm-hmm. Anything else I need are... to do? Um, oh shit, I need to... Can I retcon and sell this longbow to, um, Singe? Sure, just add... 
five gold to your to you. All right. If fights at noon, we could stop by the sigil shop if we need to. Sigil. Yeah, I think we should go to the sigil shop. Um, I'm gonna say, Nervia, do you have um, uh, you running low on uh, the movable rods yet? <laughs> she laughs like, no, I still have two. Oh, call me when you have zero. And I'm going to leave. And this time I'm going to look back like I'm about to say something and say, have a nice night. It's like it's noon. Same thing. About you early. Have a nice noon. So I'll head into the sigil shop. Yeah, sigil shop next. Alright, don't so, forget guys, we gotta go to the tailor shop too. Oh yeah. Alright, so heading back into the sigil shop. Familiar sounds of the factory producing and uh, the hammering of Leopold over in the corner. Uh, uh, with Gwyneth, You see Guinevere behind the desk, but she's on the far side. She didn't acknowledge when y'all came, came in. Even though the door goes ding ding when y'all come in. Is it Guinevere or Genevieve? Genevieve, that's right. I don't know where I got Guinevere from. The Genevieve. Oh. Guinevere is from MLBB. Uh, oh, well, is there like a bell on the table? Yes. I'll give it a quick little ding. She turns. Oh, oh, customers. And she da -da 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 -da, jumps. How can I help you? Look, I'm looking for some sigils, some real basic ones. Uh, can you tell me what y'all's price, right? Like, what, what y'all's cheapest sigil, sigil y'all have here? Uh, okay, you're looking for T1s, right? Yeah. Uh, well, the cheapest we have... I don't really like that word. I mean, all of our stuff is quality. But... Oh, of course, of course. Sorry, I mean the lowest priced. Cost effective. <laughs> cost effective. Yeah, most, yeah, cost effective would be a much better <laughs> word. I'm so sorry. Uh, mm, the cheapest one we have is probably our, uh... More melee focused. They're a little easier to make than the magic ones. Above uh, game, kind of lean. Shin leans in. Above game, I mean more weapon, more so than melee. Like plus one range, plus one weapon damage. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. Shin kind of pipes up. Uh, what do they do? Oh well, these make it easier for you to uh, hit with melee weapons. These help help you do a little bit more damage. Kind of like a guided strike. Don't have anything for me to punch something, or do you? Or like grapple him and just kind of like puts his both hands out like Ur. uh i'll put my hand on shin's shoulder and say don't worry man i got you in that department i'm it's, just uh oh, oh okay you yeah. said the music i can't stop the Sorry. music <laughs> i don't think we can can't have beats. stop the music because that would be too broken so um how oh, much I know. would be just one asking. to uh I don't know, make it diff more difficult for uh, people to evade your spells. Oh, we have something for that. And she, like, hops down, brings up this, like, blue-looking one. It's like, uh, still T1s, right? Um, go ahead and give me a T2 as well, and let's just, I'll just check a price on them. Uh, T2 started at about a thousand. Ooh, well, yep, T1 then it is. <laughs> she kind of laughs, like, all right. Uh, this one make it a little harder for people to avoid, to avoid your spells. Uh, be 150 gold. And what if I traded in the current sigil I have now? And she looks at it. It's like, oh. And she looks back. It's like 75 gold. Okay. Uh, I'm going to kind of gesture to the boys. Like, what do y'all think? I kind of use my spells a lot more right now. What do you currently have equipped? Um, I currently have my deuce equipped. No, I think I, I think it means sigil. sigil oh, it's yes. a plus one to... Um, above thing would be plus one to range it if you need you need gold i can spot you I think that's worth it i don't need any gold i just i know i need to pay the tailor and uh, i don't want to be in the same situation as last time where i'm like oh wait having how much gamble. was the tailor uh it's like five, i think what i owe guys who like 350 now something like that Hmm. Shin just kind of smacks it back and goes, 
I'll go 300. That, uh, I think that is all I need to hear for that. I'll give 150. All right. She hands you the plus, I have to add it, but uh, plus one spell save DC. Let me update your thing. It might take a second for it to update in d d Beyond, but I'll update it. And, and uh, Shen, I only need to give him 50, like 50 gold this week. I'm not, I'm not hurting for it. Oh, you good. Yeah. I don't, don't forget, I'm still holding on to those. What we found uh, in the elemental. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Do you want to go ahead and distribute that? It's what, 38? Yeah. Go ahead and I'll, I'll work on this. Okay, uh, it's 30 and a half gold, uh, 66 and a quarter silver, and 255 and a half copper is what we all get. Alright, so 30 gold plus 5 silver. That'll be uh, the half gold. 60, 66 silver. And then 66 silver. And then how many copper? 255 and a half. So 255 for everyone. Yeah, yeah. 250, yeah. Bonus. So. No, I need to see. One. Yeah. Oof. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Okay, hold on. Uh, is it at, uh, 30, or, yeah, 30 gold, 66 silver, mm -hmm. and 255 copper. Okay, fuck. Now I got... Oh, wait, before you add all that, twice you might want to refresh. Your cow unit should display the right thing. Uh, but while y'all work on that, y'all want to take a quick break? Yep. Okay. And then y'all can go to bed and we can work on the, get on the fight. Yeah, it's just not um, reflecting on my safe DC is all. It doesn't say it correctly in the description? Uh, it says it correctly in the description, but my safe DC is still set at 14. Okay. I'll look at it in a second, but I'll be right back. Oh, wait, actually, let me make sure it says it correctly in the description. It doesn't, my bad. Also, uh, do I well, mark off 300 gold now? Yeah, uh, I'll I'll do redo it twice uh, before you do anything else because it might have been co conflicting between us both I doing understand. stuff on your sheet. Yeah, sorry about that. No, it's showing, yeah. right, it's showing right on mine, so you might I've just need to have a question. wait a minute and then refresh. Refreshing. And I'll be right back. If you want to hit me on Discord, I'll answer it. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> let me rephrase that chat thank you for joining us here tonight if you are liking what you see hit that motherfucking follow button appreciate y'all being here if you don't so like to follow guys of age on any other site of media twitter.com slash guys of age and youtube.com slash guys who page get that free twitch prime go ahead and hit that follow button so you can keep up with us and get the notifications every time we appreciate y'all being here and also i will be right back myself is anyone else here to take over i am here to talk Ooh, over there we go there go boys Fini everybody's Finnegan. here Nobody's here except for me. But it's gonna be a good night, fellas. Real good night. A lot of dice to be rolled still. We're gonna get out of this place. Go take a rest. Actually we're gonna stop by the tailor. Drop him off some cash that I owe him. And then you know, proceed from there. It's gonna be a great night. Full of adventure. A wild omanite has appeared. Everybody, enter the chat. Type exclamation point poke catch. And let's get ourselves an ammonite. Also, don't forget you can redeem your souls below with the bottom left chat. You click there, there's all kinds of silly things you can make guys who do. You can even ban in game commands, which is not something you get to do in every chat so 
you come in and you're like, hey, don't kill twice. Guys, you can't do that anymore. Well, at least for the next like five minutes. So just make sure you do it at the right time. Be super careful. Anyways, I hope everybody's having a good night. I hope everybody's enjoying themselves. Uh, let me get a go Braves and a fuck Met the Mets. Everybody just say fuck the New York Metropolitans for me right quick. Fuck and the New York Metropolitan area. There we go. There we go. Right there. That's what we like to hear. Kebab, you having a good time tonight? Yeah, man. I'm just chilling. Oh, boy. Chilling hardcore. It's nice. What about you, dude? Oh, chillin', chillin', chillin'. Sweet. I'm excited that that we'll we'll get a fight during our shopping episode. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to fight and have a shopping episode. We did good this time. We didn't waste too much time. Another good day at the office. I am going to AFK for just a few minutes. No, that's wrong!
All right. How y'all doing? Rolling back. Making it, making it. I'm back. Sorry, I drunk a lot of liquids today. <laughs> also, it won't affect your spell attack, just the DC. Yep. Okay. Let me see if it's adjusted yet. <clears throat> I'm back. Showing correctly on my side, so it should. Oh yeah, uh, a question. Mm -hmm. uh, should I go ahead and subtract the 100 gold for the bit or keep it? Yeah, go ahead. Y'all should have all done that. Wait, what now? The 100 gold for the bet. Y'all should have subtracted yeah, that. Yeah, right? I did. Uh, I missed. I didn't. Uh, it is that. reflecting correctly. Thank you so much. I'm still in intermission mode. I redo my hotkeys. I was just spamming shit in chat. <laughs> I see you lurking, Ninja Rice Eater. See you lurking. Howdy, Ninja. Part of me, when I read his name, I always read it as Ninja Ice Eater. Which makes less sense. <laughs> oh, another question. I what? can't buy the sigil in, in place of my... They have, have to do it, right? I have, yeah, they have to do it. Okay. I mean, you can do it at a factory yourself. But it does require actual, like, equipment. Whatever time did I have one for a fight? I mean, you can do it right now, and it only takes them about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, but I don't, I don't have it with me. Oh. No, uh, it's it's being, it's no it doesn't. It's not on your weapon. It's on the cow unit itself. Oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Want me to add something? I can. How much is it to unlock the third slot? Uh, two hundred. No, wait, one hundred. One hundred. Sorry. And y'all do get something if you unlock all slots. But y'all don't know. I wish the hype shook in the splash too. That'd be cool. You say it's 100, right? Mm hmm. Okay, I want to unlock a slot and I want another plus one melee. Uh, they do not stack. They do not stack. Okay, um. Tier, the sigils of the same type do not stack. Uh, if they're different tiers, they'll stack, but. Same tier, same one, one stack. Okay, fair enough. Uh, which points do you recommend then? Mm, she looks at you like, what, what kind of fighting do you do? I do the jab motion. <laughs> Punch. Uh, do you use a weapon? Punch and magic. Punch and magic. Uh, well, we have these that make it easier to hit with magic or we have ones that, hit, that make it easier to hit with physical. Uh, we have ones to make it harder to dodge your spells. We have ones to make your spells easier to hit with. Shin kind of pipes up. Uh, how much for the one to make it hit uh, on physical? Uh, do more damage or easier to hit with? I like to make sure my blade sinks in. <laughs> uh, hold on. I'll check your... oh. Sam, check, check it. You might have already have one. No, he has melee to hit. Uh, so do more damage, uh, 150. They kind of look over at Medicaid. You think that's worth? If anything, if you hit some plus one damage straight up. He's gonna shake his head. No, Question. I'm good. Is there a way to increase the bleed DC? Uh yes yes that that would if you're making do uh, make it a little harder uh, a little easier to cause bleed uh that would be a tier two uh but it only applies to slashing weapons you can go for that save your money and go for that hmm you also owe the dude a thousand gold uh yeah Shin already I'm about to say Shin already also pledged 300 to the tailor so to so what the tailor oh tailor. tailor yeah yeah you were I thought he said sailor oh no i don't have to uh, i never he, gave he's... a time frame on the the tavern 
Anyway, you wanted to unlock a yeah. slot. I just said I just said when we hit high rank hunter. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen. Uh, we are not there yet. Alright, so you wanna unlock a slot, Manic. Is there anything else? Uh There's also a sigil list on the wiki, too. Some research before I buy a sigil. It's an actual wiki. Sorry. Here, 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 I'll send it to you. Oh, I'm at, the, I'm at the wiki. I just don't know which tab. That'll work. Uh, Shen, you wanted that, though? Or no? What's up? Did you want to spend the 150 or not? New. No, okay. It is slightly out of my price range now. I remember, spell sigils cost uh, aura, not spell slots. I'm kind of tempted to get complete wounds. Uh, but Ooh. since it'd be through the sigil, you wouldn't be able to do it with your punching. You got, always gotta be a Debbie Downer. Well, that would be a little <laughs> broken to be able to get you get a spell like Inflict Wounds like that. Let us be broken! <laughs> I'm already letting y'all get well, spells. Man. Like, Shin could you do Inflict Wounds right now if we wanted to. Let Manic cost a uh, fireball with his fist. I mean, once he gets gonna be way later. <laughs> yeah, once he gets his third level slots, he can do that. Roll a charisma. <laughs> uh, shit. I know. I'm just kidding. We are perfectly proportioned. Um, probably spell save DC then. Uh. As your DM, I want to point out you only have one spell with a DC. Yeah, but later down the road. Fair. Uh, it'll be 125 if you want it. Oh man, his was cheaper. Well, is it not 125? It was 150 for you. 150. Yeah. 150. 150. My bad. I was looking at the wrong, wrong one. <laughs> oh damn. That's 250. All right. All right. Is that what you want? That way, if I get something better or change my mind, uh, I could probably give the spell save DC to the Gaijin. True. If he wants it. On this. Spell save DC. One save. Save. Manic. Inventory. Elite. Manage. Add. Refresh your page, Manic. It should, might take it a second. All right. Anything else your boys need? We good, lads? Should be good. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. With the guys who smoke. Uh, and then we'll just stop by the tailor, and I'm going to toss him 50 gold for the buy. All right. You still owe him 300. All right, cool. Yeah, and that's and when keep, Shen keep track of that because sets I... three hundred gold on are the you, table. Are you gonna set three hundred? No, yeah, I already said I would earlier. Oh, uh, my eyes just go through my fucking skull. Do you have enough money to get on a train if we need to, man? Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. If you yeah, I the... did. I didn't. I didn't buy anything. It's true. Uh, all right. So three hundred, and you get your special clothes that will fit to pretty much any size you can transform into twice. Make sure to mark it in your. Uh, I'll make an actual item. I didn't expect you to have the money already. Like, I didn't expect yeah, that already. Right. Uh, but I'll make an actual item for it. But if you just want to add, like, some temporary to your inventory for now, feel free. And that'll Better. work like a, clo uh, a cloak of many fashions, too, correct? Essentially, yeah. Well, no, no, no. You don't get to pick. It just matches what your current clothes, what you said. You wanted it to look like your current clothes. So, essentially, just looks like the same set of clothes you're wearing. They'll just change size with you. No, this was... I had messaged you on uh, Facebook about this, about... 
I wanted them to also. Oh yeah, that, then we up, then we, then we up the price too. I think we upped the price for it, but I don't know by how much. We'll say four fifty. So you still one. You, you still a hundred then. All right, then I'll give him fifty as well. So I only owe him fifty. All right, fifty left. Cool. Zav ah shit! Hang on. Zavan wheel, Zavan deep. Yeah. I'll toss the other 50 on the table. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, well, same as before. Add it to your inventory, and I'll make an actual item for it. I am forever in your debt now. Mm -hmm. Zavon just kind of, like, smiles and, like, kind of rakes all the money into, like, a box. If Shin just looks down at Finn and just kind of smiles. I just shake my head like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> All right. He's like, what? I've already got a really powerful sword. I'm... All right, well, so what, what else do I need? If y'all want to get to the fight tonight, we got to probably pick up the pace a little bit. Yeah, let's go! All right, so y'all want to uh, kind of just fast forward till tomorrow? Probably fast forward. We don't really need a long yeah, Well, us, yeah. Oh, we? uh, well, yeah, you do. On on the way back to our place, uh, can I check the post office box? There's currently nothing for you. Damn it. Is there anything for Manic? No. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Shin, you start thinking about it, and it'll probably be coming in the next couple of days if they wrote you back immediately. Your I know. Not, not I'm just back immediately. checking it every time I show across. Alright, uh, y'all go to bed for the night. Uh, wake up in the morning. Around, we'll say 8, 9, to your own home beds. Uh, yeah, so it's about 9 a.m. I probably should move y'all to... Coming upstairs as y'all normally do. Um, sorry, medic. What did you buy? He opened the oh. slot and bought a plus one spell DC. Okay, that's all I need. Thank you. Um, my calculator hasn't updated yet. Uh, refresh again. It just takes it a minute. Showing on my end. I don't know why it takes so long on y'all's end. It do take a minute. All right. Uh, but anyway, it's the morning. It's 9 a.m. You've got about three hours till the fight. Uh, Shin will wake up, crack his neck, and uh, go up and start making it everybody breakfast again. Oh, I am going to mark... Well, I'll mark off eight since he's cooking breakfast, too. Eight rations from y'all's stock. Doo -doo -doo. And then I assume we're all going to talk as we sit at the table. Y'all are down to 55 rations in stock. Uh, and y'all have y'all's D4 inspiration again since y'all slept in y'all's house and ate a meal last night and this morning. Night. Thank Shin for cooking because if y'all just ate rations, you wouldn't have. Thank you, Shin. Thank you, Shin. And I will uh, ritual summon uh, uh, Gooby to, to clean Gooby. up for everybody. Alright. So y'all eat, talk, do whatever. Oh, yeah, I was about to say. And Shin kind of walks out to the table and sits on everybody's plate. He's like, so, what do we know about Embryos? Embryon. Embryon. Um, guys, do I know the stuff in-game that we've talked about above game or no? Nope, y'all don't know a damn thing. All y'all know is they got to bypass the contest. Yeah, we just know that they got to bypass the contest. I hear they have some stronger warriors. They seem rather Shins. cocky. Tearing Let's into his in place. place. Uh, y'all right, know, so... know their races. Y'all know it's a fire ganasi, a water ganasi, a human, and a tiefling. Okay. Um, well, I will make a suggestion. I see, you know, in our party, like, I am the healer, and Manic and Shin are the melee, and guys are ranged. Um... I suggest that we go after their healer first. Which one's the healer? I don't know. We'll figure that out. We'll figure it out pretty quick. <laughs> and she kind of stands up and stretches. Just uh, Finn, point me in the direction. And Manic, I'll uh, go in and make an actual plus one version so it's green and everything uh, for weapon. But for now, we'll just I'll just uh, budget a little bit. Anyways, we're ready to go fight. And Shin just kind of cracks uh, both his yeah. knuckles. 
Yeah, my Cal unit still still hasn't updated. It just takes a second. It does, it's not like yeah, it Yeah, it, it took a minute for me. Okay. Uh, refresh again, save your weapon, upgrade it, because it might not as well. It might also take a minute, but we know what it is. Uh, Manic, I assume you stop by and grab your weapons? Yes. Hmm. Singe hands them over, like, like I told you before, that consume the dagger. Uh, but you now have plus one for your hunter weapons. Okay, now, okay. It, now it updated. Cool. Alright, uh, it's about 11, so you also have a little time to kill unless you want to get there early. Um, can we run by, uh, Nervia knows all. Let's run by Nervia, see if she knows anything about Embryon. Okay, now just want to stop by Nervia's? Yep. Sure. Alright, she come, you come in. She looks, as you come in, it's like, hello again. Did she sell that stuff we gave you yet? No, it's been like 16, and it hasn't even been 24 hours. Terrible salesman. Um, anyway. <laughs> Uh, I was wondering if you knew <laughs> anything about Embryon. After you insult me, why would I tell you anything? Oh, I wasn't insulting you. I was just saying that you need you need more help around here. You do too much, Nervia. <laughs> it's like, uh, of course I do. Uh, Embryon, Embryon, the also new recruits? Yeah, the also new recruits that got to bypass the Hunters thing. Mm, they've come in here a couple times. Uh, not as much as you guys. Uh, I like you. Mm, I don't really know anything outright. Uh, what, what were you looking for? Like their fighting styles? Mm -hmm. What people buy what from you? Mm, they bought potions. Uh, anything other than that's gonna cost you. How much? Here, Shin shout from the back. Anyone I could punch? It's just like you know, it kind of like makes a grappling motion forward. You can punch anything. <laughs> that's actually what she says. You can punch anything. <laughs> uh, yeah. eh, she says twenty gold, and I'll tell you what they bought. That sounds like like data scraping with extra steps. Um, oh, does anybody y'all want to do this? I mean, First, no, she sure. Yes. She shrugs and says, I don't know how much it would help you. They mainly buy potions. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't really help us. If you want weapons, we should probably... Oh, wait. Yeah, we, yeah, we want to know what kind of weapons they wear. Wait, yeah, Shin looks up. Who was the most heavily armored? Mm, she thinks, like... Mm. Violet wears scale armor. Shin looks down at himself. And then runs up and places a gold on the counter and runs yeah. back. Yeah, I got an idea. We need to go to Sinja's place. We can go Thank talk you. to that one guy who knows too much about everything. That's yeah, in room off. have to take horses to room off. Yeah, but he's in room off. Yeah. He's going to take horse. It'll be past 12 when we get back. Alright, so you're going to stop by Singe? Yeah, stop by Singe. Alright, it's about 11.15. Alright, Singe, hey, do you know what kind oh. of weapons you made for Embryon? I'm sorry, what was her name again? The War of the Armor? Violet. Violet. Uh, Singe thinks, like, uh, yes, I do remember. Could you possibly tell us about them? Why? Because we have a fight with them, and we know literally nothing about them, but I called them bitches anyway. <laughs> uh, Singe does laugh at that, and he goes, uh, well, it seems a little unfair, but they, I guess they could have came by if they actually cared, so since yeah. you were smart enough to do that, I'll, I'll fill you in a little bit. Uh, and he says, five gold apiece. Like, uh, from we'll, each of us or for each of them? For each of them. I uh, oh. will lay down five gold. Which one do you want to know about? Um, I don't know. I don't know who any of them are. <laughs> uh, well, their leader is Cadmus. Uh, yeah, tell us about Cadmus. Uh, he is a fire ganasi, much like myself. Uh, he uses two short swords that can combine into a glaive. Okay. Do you have like anger issues or anything? Mm -hmm. He's shrugs. I, I mm -hmm. don't think he would know that. I only know about their weapons. I don't know anything about them personally. That's true. Yeah, we also know about Violet. He's pretty heavily armored. Mm -hmm. If you want to know what her, what her weapon was, I would need a little more money. I'll slap five more though. Violet uses a special bladed boomerang. I'll just uh, slap 15 down and just learn everything. 
Right. Violet uses a specialized boomerang. Uh, it's, all, it's a club that extends and curves into a bladed boomerang that she can throw. Uh, one moment. Uh, Ash, the tiefling, uses uh, two short swords that can combine into a longbow. As for Nelphine, uh, she uses a rapier that turns into a rifle. Interesting. All right, that's all we need to know, Sinj. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry, can you repeat that last part? Uh, After Ash. Nelphine uses a rapier that can turn into a rifle. Through the town hall. Plaza. Plaza. All right, we'll take you about 30 minutes to get there. So it'll be about 11.45 if y'all head out now. Hey, can we talk while we're heading there? Sure. Good enough Since time kind of... for me to do my stretches. Hmm. Since it's kind of close to the fact, like, so. Uh... Two of them got have some, arranged. yeah, have arranged. Yeah, so here's my theorem. Uh, I think that me and Guy should tag team one, pick one, and just go after it. I think that Shin should probably hold off um, Cadmus the leader. And then Manic, you just do your thing. All right, so Shin just kind of smiles and just give me a target. So y'all start approaching the plaza, and you see there's a small amount of people gathered out, and uh, <laughs> two of the Huntsmasters are standing in front, and towards the fountain, you see Team Embryon kind of look as y'all start, as they see you approaching. Shin just kind of does, like, the two fingers against his eyebrow on salutes. And they're going to step forward. Direction. They're going to step forward up here. Uh, Tarkus kind of waves you all over towards him. My mouse is acting up. Hang on. Can I check their rank? They're all F. But have you approach... Guy, you coming up? Okay. But as y'all approach... Yeah, sorry. Uh, good guy was stretching. <laughs> Tarkus looks at you both. It's like, well, we have both teams from present and accountable before. Uh, and Tarkus kind of waves his hand as this giant kind of glyph encompasses the immediate area alright none of you should be able to die now but still don't you know try to kill each other Oh. I mean of course go as hard as you can like if someone goes down don't like try to kill them guy raises his hand yes so we should or shouldn't try to kill them do try to kill each other but if someone goes down do not attack them when they're down Okay, oh, yeah. try to kill them, but not really hard. Yes, Got exactly. it. Basic, basic courtesy, I understand. Yeah. And Cadmus is going to step forward. Kind of has a smirk on his face. And as you look over this fire uh, Genasi man, he's wearing glasses. Uh, <coughs> does not appear to be Stepping wearing... up to meet him. Doesn't appear to be armored. Uh, he's a little shorter than you, Shen. Uh, yeah, fairly sure. lean build. Fairly lean build, wearing glasses. He kind of is just smiling, looking up. It's like, honestly, didn't expect you guys to show up. I honestly oh, I... didn't expect you to challenge us. Well, correction, I didn't expect y'all to accept the challenge. Oh. Ah, well. well. Just know that we really do think y'all are bitches. It's like, These well, are the a... bitches? Well, that's Shin incredibly looked... rude to say. We've I heard been really about say, as, as he's saying that, Shin just kind of talks over and looks down at him. just like shaking his head in disappointment. Hmm. I'm glad y'all challenged us. Get this out of the way now. And Cadmus is just going to put his hand out. Yep, I immediately shake his hand like right. a warrior. Yeah, he doesn't you know, have like the strongest... The grasp at the elbow. Yeah, he doesn't have the strongest grasp, it seems like. Uh, it's fairly muscular, but not, like, bulky. Very lean, yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to, like, crush or anything. I'm just accepting his grasp. Yeah. But, uh, Tarka says, well, please take two positions. Uh, opposite ends of the fountain, and Cadmus can walk right here. Ash right yep. here, Violet right here, Nelphine will be right here. Uh, Shen will turn around and go, uh, anywhere? Uh, just the dividing line is the fountain, so to the right of that. Alright, thank you. 
I'm going to stand behind Finn. We might want to get a little closer, guy. Uh, is, it, is it right here? Is the divider? Mm. Yeah, this is yeah. the go zone. Okay. Yep. Shin steps right there. And he pulls out the pick and the shield. All right. Targus looks kinda over. kind of taps them together. Looks over and says, Embryon, ready? And they all nod and says, B3, ready? ready. Shin just ready. like slaps his shield and goes, B3! <laughs> I says, thought we were guys, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and as the guy says that, Targus goes, begin. And we're going to say initiative. And we can change Damn the music. It, I didn't press my fucking character again. <laughs> <laughs> I was so ready to roll initiative, too. 13. All right, so. Ooh, 22 20. for Manic. Oh, okay. Mine didn't go through as well. Uh, but I don't know, 13. All right. I get to roll theirs on screen. But they're up against. Oh, you have character sheets on D and D, or yeah, on roll twenty. That's sweet. All right. All right. First up, we got Nelphine. All right. She is going to. She's immediately going to start with tricking her weapon into the rifle. She's gonna move right here. You know what? She's gonna take a shot at Manic. That is a 18 to hit. That hits. Alright, Manic, your adaptive armor is now for piercing. As you take 13 piercing damage. As it clips like the side of your uh side of your hip. Bap. Okay, I'm sorry, I missed everything. The past uh, 45 seconds. Uh, man, it got shot. Oh, okay. No. All right. Uh, but as she moved away, you notice this weird shimmering almost ethereal-like version of her still standing where she was originally standing. Alright, but Manic, you're up. Me? <laughs> it's the closest. That's a hit. Okay, I'm infusing. And as you're running up to him, you notice this dude isn't wearing armor. He just pulls out his two short swords. He's standing there. the jaw with the first punch. What is a fire, uh, firebolt? Firebolt? Well, fine. I hit him with chromatic corp, dude. No, I'm out. I was <laughs> making sure I was saying I heard you correctly. Oh, my bad. Uh, I'm just going to hit him with chromatic corp. Alright. Uh, what element? Uh... Uh, thunder damage. Alright. Roll of damage. As Manic comes up, hits him across the jaw, and just boom with the chromatic war of thunder. I didn't roll so many. 
Oh, it's 13. been doubling the amount of dice that we roll on screen for some it's reason. Weird. Weird. Anyway, it's 13 damage. Solid. Solid. Boom! Across the face. Definitely feeling it. Oh, In fact, yeah, he's gonna the... he's gonna he's gonna blow an endure. Reduce that by five. Oh, it's plus one piercing too. No, actually, it's a D4 for piercing. He's not wearing armor. Yeah, but my uh my semblance still. Oh no, it's not D4. It's plus your proficiency, so plus two. Oh yeah, that's okay. Well, I rolled a two, so. Yeah, so it worked hey. out. Yeah, as you hit him, he does flare up his aura to reduce the damage a bit. Alright, cool. Uh, the second one. Well, That does not hit. As you go to punch him a second time, he recovers and just kind of dodges your fist. Fair enough. All right, twice. All right. Guys, okay, Sue, you fucking evil genius, man. You place these characters the perfect amount of space apart so I can't hit but two of them. I mean, these people are... I mean, they're not, they're not stupid. I'm going to cast Fairy Fire on these two. Uh, it's a 20-foot cube, so you can hit. Three of them, technically. Can I? I don't place think so. in the middle. It'd be, it'd be thirty feet. The twenty-foot cube would be from like here to here. Let's yeah, see. ten feet. It, it, these. It'd be yeah. That's tw it's twenty by twenty, my dude. It's four by four. So, oh, you're talking about these three? Yeah. Oh yeah, I can do that. All right. So it's deck save. All right. Yeah. 15. So no. Ash. That is a 12, so Ash failed. Violet. That is a 8, so Violet also failed. Nice. Nice. Uh, but as it goes over the ethereal image of Nelphine, nothing seems to happen. That's what I figured. Alright, and then. Am I clear to take a shot at this guy, or do I need to come up a little bit? Uh, I'd be at disadvantage, because it's over 30 feet. Okay. Then I will move... Let's see. How far is that? 50 feet. 5 feet. Alright. 5, 10, 15, 20. You know, actually, I'll take a shot at this one. All right. An advantage. Nope. Be a regular shot over 30 feet away. Oh, damn it. I keep forgetting that. So it'd be just a normal shot. Disadvantage yeah. counteracts the advantage. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll just take a shot at the guy man explodes it. All right. Also, just be a normal shot. Yep. That's a hit for six damage. Nice. Uh, he's going to flare his aura again and reduce that by four, so he's going to take two damage. Okay. So yeah, you got to hit him and it just like, throws up his aura. Still felt it a little bit. Alright. And that'll be my turn. Alright, Ash's turn. And seeing as you now painted him green, you're now his target. Fine. He's going to step down, and he is going to make three attacks at you. Oh, I had his weapon wrong. I told y'all he used a... Uh, Two short swords. No, he uses a double-bladed scimitar that okay. is can, that tricks Ooh. into a longbow. Hang My bad. On. My bad there. Yeah, he's gonna take his longbow out and he's gonna take three shots at you twice. Right. All right, so that's eleven. That's a miss. Sixteen and seventeen. Are those the last two hit. Right. Four. That is four damage and eleven damage. So fifteen damage total. All right. I will use an endure. All right. Mark off aura point and roll it. 
Is it what is it? A D eight or I think it's a D six. Let me double check. I've been rolling it's a D six. It is D six, yeah. I've been rolling D six, but before, so you take eleven damage. Yeah, the first arrow hits and doesn't really do that much, but you see the second arrow pretty much coming for your face, and you're like, oh shit! And throw out the end door to reduce it a little bit. Your aura flares, and it still hits your face, but it doesn't, like, go through. Ooh. Definitely hurt, though. Yep. Uh, that's gonna be Ash's turn. Now it is Cadmus's turn. Cadmus looks at, uh, Manic. He puts his glasses ra away. And he would like to rage. Uh, Manic, you're going to, when he rages, a second, Manic, you're going to take three fire damage. Half, right? No. Well, yeah, half, because you, because, uh, it's a one. As he rages, this flame erupts around him and just... Uh, and also, as he rages, he, st he starts to, like, broly out a little bit. Like, he gets significantly more muscle mass. His eyes go white. Like, he's... <laughs> Looks very different than Shin's rage. Uh, as he's just kind of towering over you right now. Uh, so that's his bonus action. And for his action, he is going to take two attacks at you. Manic with his glaive. Uh, I'm going to blow an aura and do a... Two aura. Uh, two aura and do a vicious mockery and say, you guys are still bitches. Alright, so wisdom save. That is a 12. Uh, that's a, a fail. 15, yep. Let me get it rolling. One. One, damn it. That's okay. Hey, yep. there we go. So he has disadvantage. Point advantage. disadvantage. Yep, he has disadvantage on his first swing at you, Manic. So he's going to take the glaive and try to stab it at you very aggressively. And that is a 14 to hit. No, wait, wait, no, that's wrong. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Seventeen to hit. Um, with shield. All right, so you go. He goes and it's coming at you, and Manic throws up the shield. All right, so second swing doesn't have disadvantage. That is a twenty-three to hit. That hits. Even through the shield. As wow, you rolled pitiful for it though. As you take uh, six piercing damage. I mean, seven. You're gonna endure it? I'm gonna endure it. Okay. Seven, so roll your d6. Fucking serious. So you're taking the six? Oh, uh, roll another. So, four. So, Manic throws up the shield, thinks he's safe for a second, and then the second attack comes. And Manic's like, oh shit, throws up his aura because it's going through the shield. But Manic, you managed to endure it. And Cadmus is just over you, just... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now it's Violet's turn. Violet is going to... Six... She can come up and she, you see her reach forward and she's going to tap with a glowing hand on the back of Cadmus. And you see Cadmus's uh, wounds start to heal. Barely. <laughs> uh, I don't think she has any bonus actions. Yeah, she don't. So that's Violet's turn. Shin. Okay. Uh, I am going to trick my weapon back into my sword as I'm running forward in bonus action rage. Uh, when Manic attacked him, he didn't bleed, did he? No. Oh, you know, Manic punched him. But were you doing piercing, Manic? I don't or? bleed. Yeah, you were just doing bludgeoning. Piercing doesn't bleed anyway. That's also true. 
Yeah, no, yeah. he was he was just hitting him with his fist, with his normal gauntlets. Oh, okay. Yep. Let me do this real quick. But you definitely saw Violet come up and tap him in his wounds healed. And Shin is going to bonus action rage as he's running forward. Mm -hmm. Get to right there. And I am going to just straight slash on Violet. Oh, nice. You have advantage. Oh, thank God. 24. 24 hits. You see Violet try to pull up her shield, but she doesn't get it up in time. Uh, 13. Solid hit. Yep. And as you she crashes down. Uh, she is going to use an Endure, though. She's going to use a second Endure, though. She's going to use a third Endure, though. Goddamn. Three dice, only got four. So she still takes nine damage. Shin is just a roaring forward. All right. Uh, did that incur any kind of bleeding? Uh, got a roll of content. Uh, this is at advantage because she's wearing medium armor. Wait, no. No advantage. Defense. No, yeah, it is advantage because you're wearing medium armor. Right. Yeah. Need to double check that. Because I'm pretty sure I get advantage too. Yes, medium and natural armor. Okay. Heavy has medium. That's right. She has advantage on that, and she still fucking failed. Ha <laughs> ha! So she has one stack of bleed. Nice. Alright, that's it for Shin. Gaijin, you're up. Uh, Alright, so Guy is. First off, guy's an idiot. He is too far away for much, so give me a little measurement right here. Um, okay. Second question is: Are um, it, what is everyone wearing here? Uh, as far as armor. Yeah. Uh, well, you looked at him before the fight. Cadmus isn't wearing anything. As far as armor, uh, Ash is wearing a chain shirt. Nofine was wearing a chain shirt, and Violet has a uh, scale mail. This is Nofine right here? Nofine is the water genasi. Okay. Sorry, who is this one? That's Violet. It's Violet, so she is wearing mm -hmm. something? Alright, um, what's the weather look like? It's a sunny day. All right. Guy is going to do his shaman dance, and he's going to cast heat metal on her armor. All right. She... This is a save for the damage. So it is It is um, 2d8 when I cast a spell. Mm -hmm. Any creature in correct contact, it's a 2d8 fire. Spell ends... Until the spell ends, you can use a bonus action on each subsequent turn to cause this damage again. All right, and what's the range? 60 feet. Okay. So, yeah, use heat metal, roll your 2d8. You're casting it on her armor, I'm assuming? Yes. As we learned earlier, Ooh. it takes 60 Ooh. turns to un-fucking do armor. <laughs> uh, she was also going to use two more indoor. And, yeah, she reduced it by half at least. Yeah, she's huh? She's like huh? Was gonna do it on Cadmus' weapon, but he's a fire Ganassi, so not as effective, so Yeah, this is just a human that you have now you're now scalding her in her armor. You're broiling her. Good, 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 good. Really good. We hate humans. <laughs> Alright. Anything else, Gaijin? Nope, that is it. Alright. No fiend's turn. At the start of her turn, it will thing is going to follow what she did. And he gets down and shoots the direction where 
uh, Manic was, but nothing's there. But now it's her actual turn. Oh, okay. Hang on. No to that. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. She's going to get behind you, Shin. And now she has advantage. So she's going to, as she's running, she tricks her weapon back into the rapier and pulls out a small buckler. I'll blow, uh, Yeah, I'll blow two more for a vicious mockery. All right, roll it. And she needs to roll a wisdom save. Is she good at these? That is a soft 20. Damn. So no damage, no nothing. She Sorry, just, guys. as you do it, she just kind of shrugs it off. She takes the rapier and she stabs it at Shin. For a, is that a 21? 22 to hit, Shin. Yep. All right, and yeah, this tears into your back. Like, sneak attack bonus. It's 2d6. All right, so the rapier is going to do 12 sneak attack. 19 halves, so you take 9 damage, Shin. Uh, and I'll pop one dare. All right. She comes up behind you and gets you with the in the back and like in just the perfect spot in your armor. Six. Nice. So four damage. Yeah. Yeah. She takes four damage and doesn't even really turn around. All right. That's she done. Oh, it's actually right. He kind of like glances back at her. And then stares forward at the other one that he's been mm. attacking. Yeah, she says she can't do anything else. All right, Manic. A uh, question. Yes. Because I'm not sure if I could do this. Uh, can I use my breath weapon in bonus action hit? And if I hit, can I infuse it? No, you can't. You can't use your uh, breath weapon. It's only on your melee attack. No, 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 no. But like bonus action, use melee attack, and if it hits, confuse. Oh yeah, yeah. Breath weapon isn't a spell. It doesn't. Normal spell casting rules don't apply to it. Oh, here we go. Alright, cool. So I'm going to use my lightning breath beam. Alright, uh, what's the DC? Uh, 13. 13. Violet passes. Cadmus. It's a con save. It's a deck save. Oh, deck save. Uh, Cadmus passes as well. Barely, but he did. Half on success. So with a long wolf. So it's 2d4. So both take one damage. As the lightning breath comes out, and they both manage to mostly get out of the way. I hope you still call them a little bit. I hope this hits. 14 uh, does not hit. One. Wait, hold on. Which one are you using? Are you using Fist? Yeah. Wait, he's not wearing armor, so it doesn't matter either way. Uh, so yeah, no, that doesn't hit. As you do the breath weapon... And then try to catch him with the hook and just miss. Unfortunately. Uh, I want to use pop two, two aura, two. All right. How much was it again? D four, two D four. Four back. Not bad. All right. Twice you're up. Uh, I'm gonna cast Healing Word on Manic. All right, that's your bonus action. Uh, oh shit, yes, it is a bonus action. Fuck yeah. Level one. Yep, level one. All right, so five more HP to you, Manic. And then I'm going to cast Enlarge Reduce on Shin. You cannot. Why not? Oh, he's raging. No. Wait, why not? Uh, you cannot cast a leveled spell, two leveled spells in one turn. You can cast a leveled okay. spell and a cantrip. And a cantrip, okay, that's fair. Uh, let's see. Bless you. You could yell at me to get ready for that. Pretty even fight. Um... So far. Oh. Uh, 
Oh shit, now you can't use the heat metal. Wait, what? It's a bonus action. I thought uh, it was just I thought it was concentration and then just bonus action to do extra damage. Yeah. He just uses bonus action to cast healing word. Yeah. Wait, who? But he still has it up, so he could next turn. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, he can I still... don't I didn't cast bur I didn't cast I I'm I'm using heat metal. Oh wait, yeah, you're right, Gaijin is. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, oh okay. I had to mix up on who cast it. <laughs> I, I got so confused. confused for a I, d I did too. I was, yeah, I was like, very wait, what? concerned. Anyway, you still have your action twice. Um, then I will. I'll shoot this girl. Pilot. All right. Yep. At advantage. 15, 20, 25. Yep. She's a within 30. 21 hits, 8 damage. Uh, she is going to blow another Endure, reduce it by 5, so she takes 3. Yeah, Violet isn't looking too good, and her aura is running low too. Oh, champs, that's what we love. She's in there like... <laughs> Anything else twice? Um, I cannot do anything else, so no. Well, you can move. I could move, but uh, I'm, I'm okay. Woo. I'm right. okay over here. Y'all can handle all that. Mm, surveying his options. Ash is going to take two shots at you, Shin, I believe. Alrighty. Hold on, hold on. He might not. Hold on. He's going to bonus action. He's going to Hunter's Mark you, Shin. Ah, I'm smart. Alright. Uh... Now he's going to take two shots at you. Okay. All right, so he doesn't get advantage, though. So. First shot, that is a 16 to hit. Uh, That hits. Second shot, soft 20. They both hit. All right, so six plus two, so eight. So four damage on that first one. Mm-hmm. Five on the second one. The nine damage total. Okay, I'll take that. As he hits, and each hit just bah, ah, like it feels like a second hit each time. And after, <laughs> yeah, just go over here. All right, Cadmus' turn. As he's uh, as a bonus action, Shin and Manic both take three fire damage. So one to you, Manic. Three to Shin. As the storm, as he kind of roars and the storm around him just flares up again. Uh, but he's gonna turn and look at you, Shin, since you came up roaring and everything. He's gonna make two two attacks with his glaive at you. Alrighty. Um, and he has advantage. First swing. That is a soft thirty. It's actually too high. Second swing is a 23. Yeah, they both hit. Hold on one second. Tells me I'm good. Okay, good. Something tells me I'm going to be burning some uh, endures here. Anyway, sorry. I'll do it. Okay. Twenty-nine damage, half, so fourteen damage, Shen. Uh, could I burn a couple of endures on that? Yeah. How many you want to burn? I'm going to burn two. Alright, roll 2d6. Two 
Nice. Wait, so you so take, nine, take nine damage. Hey. Oh, wait, I'm wrong. Four, you took five damage. Yeah. Shin just kind of smiles at him. He's smiling back. But he's got <laughs> blood dripping from the side of his mouth. He's uh, very hurt. Wait, is that slashing? Oh, it is slashing. So two con saves. Uh, oh. at, advantage, at advantage. My bad, yeah. Manic. I forgot that. So you, you lucked out. I thought I thought a glaive was piercing. So that's one pass. Second pass. Nice. Nice. No bleed. Oh, sweet. Okay. Oh, that passes too. All right. Violet's turn, so she's gonna roll con save for bleed. Fails. She's gonna take three from the bleed. Uh, she is going to disengage. Six. And she is going to cast Healing Word on herself as a bonus action. Oh, she at least got to go on that. So she looks significantly better. And the bleed is gone. Yeah. Right, that's her turn. Shen. Okay. Um, this one's been causing problems, so I'm going to turn around and slam down with the great axe right behind me. You're putting the sword away to hit with your great axe? Yep. Okay. I already didn't have my uh, shield out. So. Fifteen. Uh, fifteen does not hit. I will blow my inspiration. All right, you do have a D four. Sixteen does not hit. Uh, I don't have anything to add. To Get that. real close. Real, real close. Yeah, I thought I could just... I mean, you have a bonus action now. and enhance it. An I thought enhance only did... Uh, damn. No, it that's empowered. Did. Oh, that's yeah. empowered. Yeah, yeah. Then I will... Yeah. Space, yeah. Yep, then I will blow one for that, too. All right, remember, but for the future reference, you do have to call that before you know, but I'll allow it. Oh, Which, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll allow it, but one aura okay. and roll a d6. That's nice. six. So that's okay. 22 to hit, which does hit. Yep. Uh, Shin turns around, and he just looks at her and goes, Annoy! And slams the Great Axe down. As you're doing so, uh, it goes right before it's about to connect, she, psst, out of out of existence. And is replaced with her echo. It's a good for horror because that was a 16. And after you connect with echo, it just poofs. Oh. Yeah. Replaces a uh, her advantage with ours, maybe. But she doesn't seem to have taken any damage. Did use a little aura though. Anything else for you, Shin? Uh, nope. All right, Gaijin. All right, so I did mess up on my last turn. I I just didn't say everything. Um, they whenever they take damage, they have to succeed on a con save, or else they get um disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. That's fine. Yeah, I, I don't think she used either of those, so it's okay. She ran away and healed. Yeah. She disengaged and healed herself. So guys gonna come um, down like right cur- around okay. here. Uh, by the way, she got out of range for heat uh, heat metal. So how exactly does that work? So she leaves We're range off. and then 
and then it's gone, or if I get within range, can I use the bonus action to eat her again? Uh, you could use, you'd have to cast the spell again. Once she got out of range, the spell ended. Okay. Okay, well, fuck. In that case, I'm just gonna, um, come out here and I'm gonna do a level two chromatic orb on her. Alright, roll to hit. Hold on a second, sorry. Uh, and, and we're gonna, we're gonna do acid. On the water, Janasi. Doesn't hit either way. Cool. Above game, Gaijin really wouldn't know this, but above game, you pick the one thing water Ganassi are resistant to. Resistant yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> acid. Acid. Oh. But it missed, so it doesn't matter either way. You go to throw it, and she, like, sucks under it. As it goes whizzing by her face. Wait a second. Heat metal continues to work once they move out of range. You just have to be within range to actually. Ooh. All right. Since that, since I told you incorrectly, you can redo your move if you want to. Since I told you the wrong thing. Ooh. Sweet. So um. We'll just, we'll just rewind <laughs> Gaijin real quick. Thank God for fact check. Guy saw all this in his mind. Right. And now he has to lie. Give me one second, guys. I have to pee. You're good. Chat, if you're enjoying this heart beating combat, follow us on Guy Sufage at almost everything. Guy Sufage at youtube.com slash what I just said. Also, Twitch, if you have a prime, maybe slap that for us. Twitter.com slash Guy Sufage. And all according. Actually, take five real quick, guys. Sorry, I gotta take care of something real quick. Okay, all right. Well, I already got the plug in out of the way, so chat! Damn! Uh, what should I do? Should I continue waylay on this dude, or should I go? Bruh. We got that healer down pretty low. I know, but I can just go up and finish it. Well, not, not kill her, but like. Yeah. I think that's it. That's what we're going for. We haven't even touched the guy in the back, but... Or I can try to hit Ash here and then use my spell. I to need some healing. You're at half health. You're good. Ooh, I do have one potion. But it's going to give me at max 10, which would help a lot. They can almost half from everything they do. But that one in the back is a little scary. If we can kill her, or down her, the fastest, it would be good. Which one, her? The uh, violet. So I was saying, but you need to hurt she's a healer. Yeah. Uh, no, she's not the healer. She's healing. She's. Oh, oh, okay. There was. Okay. No, there was a dice on top of her. I missed that. <laughs> yes, she she is healing. We do need to get her down as quick as possible. Problem is, if I dis disengage, I won't be able to. I, I right. think uh, guy's probably about to kill her. So if he can nuke her not. down, but that that water ganasi bitch is getting pretty annoying. And True, but I did just take away her. Hurt except for guys, so we've got yeah, to we we make we gotta some work. It. We got to make some good work. We have to deal with the tank round. and the healer. It's the only way we're going to win this. Yeah, we got to get. If, the if we take the healer down, down and then we get a rid, piecemeal him from that. Because our healer is still up. Who, me? Yeah. yeah, you actually probably have better healing options than I do, honestly. I really have well, shit healing options. Well, see, the thing <laughs> is... I have healing options. Wasn't, like, the saddest To be fair, yeah. That's fine. We focus on damage for now, because we were... only I really need healing. If Manic could get slapped with something offhanded, that'd be great. We were so fucking blessed to have Forensic the Life Cleric 
who oh, yeah. never casted any other spell besides Healing Word and Land. He did bad he touch a couple. Yeah, he did bad, bad touch. touch a couple. He did Healing Circle at least twice. Hmm. Or at least I know Adam did when he was playing him. But if we, if we can down that healer, I think we can tank down everyone. The problem is I can't go after it because I have to disengage. Well, I can't either. We got to see what guy's turn goes out. If we can down her, then then fuck it. I'll grapple this guy. See if I can't incapacitate him. But I'm way down the turn order. Yeah, the turn order's not in our favor. They have like all their guys that go back to back to back. I can possibly, if I connect, I can probably knock him out. There we go. Also, if you got to use your breath weapon to like damage me, I'll blow the rest of mine. I've already used it. I can choose between a cone or a line, remember? Yeah, I yeah. fucked my, uh, I also I fucked up saved. my aura. That's, that's my bad, guys. I wasn't thinking about Shin already being resistant to the, to the damage, so. That's all good. Because that would have been helpful for us. Me having that for later. But you do have Shatter, don't you? Oh, we got rid of it. What? Hot beans. But Shatter. Yeah, I have Shadow Clone Jutsu that I can throw out if things get bad, but... Alright, I'm sorry about that, guys. Nope, all good. No problem. Yeah, we weren't metagaming or anything. <laughs> well, it's on it's on the bot, I'll hear it. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking piece. above game. Small All right. right, but uh guy doing it is your turn. Alright, yeah, so I'm gonna start with the bonus action and just go ahead and hit it and see if she does. Uh well you gotta move closer. You're ten more feet back from there. You're seventy feet away. So you gotta move ten, at least 10 feet forward to do it. Alright, well then yeah, I'm gonna move 10 feet. I'm All gonna right. hit it. Alright, so 10 more damage, alright. Uh, she's gonna use her last aura point. Reduce it by 6, so she's gonna take 4. Yeah, she is not looking good. She's still burning. She has no more aura. Painted green. <laughs> and then Guy is going to come up here. Alright. And I believe that should still be within that 60 foot range. Yeah. And Guy is just going to use um, Firebolt. Alright, roll it. Uh, you have advantage. Fairy Fire isn't just melee, right? Uh, no, it is all. Yeah, I believe all. everything. Alright, so you have advantage, Gaijin. Because they're like lit up, they're basically like outlined. Alright, 24 hits. A glowing aura. Oh. Oh. So close. Almost a 10. Yeah, you hit her square in the chest, which. Foof, more fire. She's just like, ah! But she's still standing. Alright. And then, yeah, uh, she. And then, yeah, she has to do a. Um... Save. Yeah, save. she fails. So it says disadvantage on any attack rolls and ability checks. Gotcha. All right. Until the start. Until the start of my turn. All right. Nelfine's turn. She's gonna. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, well, she was six away. So she was actually closer. All right, so she's gonna move back behind you again, Shin. Well, actually, in front of you because you were already facing that way. And she is going to take another rapier swing. Doesn't have advantage. Misses. Uh, As she goes and thrusts with it, and you just kind of knock it away with your axe. Uh, All right, that's her turn. Manic. Right, I wanna try to punch this dude. All right. Fifteen. Uh, is a... All right. Good call. 
Hey, quick random question. Um, well, not really random. Uh, in these kind of mock fight things, if someone dies, do they get removed from the battle, or there's still like sa or there's still like death saving throws just to get no death saving throws. Cool. Uh, sixteen is a hit. Oh, it is. Cool. Mm -hmm. He's not uh, wearing armor. Uh, I don't know his AC. To be fair, I don't even know what he's wearing. Uh, it's a, it's I'm a button. He's wearing a sweater vest, actually. A button-down shirt. No, he's, he's wearing like a button sweater, a button vest. Uh, my man is fucking attacking us like Escanor. Yes, exactly like Escanor. Okay, cool. I'm blowing everything. All right, so that's a hit. I Nine. Plus two for piercing. So eleven and to I'm five. Chrom chromatic orb. I'm hit him with ice this time. All right, you gotta chill him out with the ice chromatic orb. I'm actually gonna hit him with the uh. Why don't you chill out? <laughs> All right. <laughs> So 21 gold. Damn, 786. Uh, yeah, he has, he's, he's going to blow three Endure on that. He only got five, 16 damage. Nice. All right, so yeah, you hit him and kind of starts frosting over lit. He looks injured, but he's kind of still... <laughs> And he like turns his head towards you, Manic. Still got your oh, your second hit. Fuck it. That's a hit. Or I'm gonna use my last aura point. You're gonna empower it. I'm using my D12. Oh, oh, you're using your semblance for seven, seven piercings. Oh. All right, but he is also raging, so it doesn't do as much yeah. as it could. But yeah, he's... Oh, uh, my weapon's still magic, so it, it goes full through. Oh, that's right. Well, from yeah, because it's not magical. So you're right. Magic. Plus one's magic. That, okay, so he's going to blow his last two to see if he's even still standing. Oh. oh. I forgot plus one makes it magic. That's enough, even if he, when he tried to endure. Yeah! Yeah. Fuck yes. As Manic goes, and he, you see him try to throw up his uh, aura, but Manic's fist still connects square in the jaw, and he just, uh, pop, falls down. Right, can I have a free action? Sure. I raise my hand. We got this, man. Let's do this. <laughs> he just roars with his battle axe in hand. All right, that's manic. Anything else? You can move. Uh, hi. <laughs> Wee. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, twice. All right. Um, I am going to. Yep. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna systematically dismantle. Uh. Cast enlarge on Shin. Uh, hold on one second. We might be incorrect on rage. Incorrect on rage, boy. Hold on. Thought rage was just for the actual weapon and not. No, nope, we're, we're wrong. It's not. It, magical sources doesn't matter. God messes it down. No, it does not say Enrage from magical sources. Cadmus is still up. Oh, no. Check it. Check it on your page too, Shen. Okay, I will. It just says you gain uh, resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. It doesn't say from non-magical. Sorry. I mean, he's still real low. You did a lot of damage, but I'm sorry. That's fine. That's true. It just says rage. Um, you have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. And from non-magical sources would have been added if it was. They're very particular about that I kind bet. of stuff. But that would be Manic's turn. Yeah, that's Manic's turn. Twice you're up, then. Um, I'm going to cast... Uh... I'm gonna cast enlarge on Shin still. Alright, so Shin gets big. I'm gonna say that moves them out of. moves Cadmus a little bit. 
Does that not at least like cause a shove? No. Uh, I won't get attack of opportunity. It has to be a willing movement. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Is he still raging? Yeah, he's still raging. I'm gonna take my chances here. Get him. Uh, I can't kill him. I mean, you can go up and uh. I can run. You hit him with a melee, you'd have advantage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I still wouldn't be able to kill him though. You could. You could. It would, it would even take a crit yeah, what, or max damage. What about in but... that twenty? No, I'm gonna do this instead. <laughs> uh, oh. I'm gonna shoot her at advantage with my deuce. And I am going to enhance it. 16 hits. I think the 16 hits, my dude. The so seven, uh, and you're gonna. Well, no, not not enhance it, but uh, empower. Give it the yeah, give the extra power. So that's a d6. Take out the healer. Nine. That's just enough. Oh. As you go and catch her, and you you when you empower the shot at the last second, it just hits her right square in the chest, and she just. Ugh, plop, plops over onto her back. And then I'm gonna move five more feet over here to get out of this scary All right. stuff. Good call. <laughs> Alright, it's Ash's turn, and now you're big, Shin, so you're kind of a target. So he's gonna take two shots at you. First one, that is a miss. Second one is also a miss. You rolled a five and a four. Uh, on the four, he's gonna empower it. The, I mean... Enhance. 17 to hit? Wait, 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 no, hold on. Hold on. 13 plus 4, 7, yep, 17 to hit. I don't believe that gives you extra AC. Nope, oh, yep, 17 does hit. Alright, cool. So, then he's gonna end. Fuck. 5 piercing, so 2 damage, Shen. Yeah. <laughs> As Shin just takes it in the shoulder, he's slowly turning around to look at Cadmus. That, okay. Uh, oh, wait, plus a d6 from Hunter's Mark. Uh, oh, yep, that too. So, six, so three more damage. Still. Uh, that's all he's got. Alright, Cadmus' turn. He is going to. Bonus action. So, Manic, you take one. Shin, you take three. As the fire whips around again. Uh, Manic, you hurt the hell out of him, so he's going for you. First swing. That is a soft 20. That is. He's going to roll the damage first. That is 14 damage. My manic's gonna go down. Oh, manic's still up. So he's gonna take a second swing at you. He's gonna hit and I'm gonna go down. <laughs> yeah, that's... You don't know that? That's definitely a hit. <laughs> the dude has a minimum of like 6 of 17. Not quite yeah, 17. That was if he hit. Uh, but yeah, that's enough. Manic goes... He gets... And that's manic just fucked. Right, so Manic's down too. Uh, it's Cadmus' turn. Violet's down. I'm gonna remove Manic from the turn order too. Uh, Alright, Shin, you're up. Okay. So, gonna use my semblance. Alright, give yourself advantage. Yep. And gonna turn around and hit, try to hit Cadmus. But as I'm turning around, I'm gonna whip out. Pick and shield? Uh, no, never mind. Uh, yeah, pick and shield. Alright. Advantage. 24 hits. 24. 
Oh, hang on, that's a uh, sword. Wow, watch you do more than that with the pick. <laughs> yeah. That is 13 plus the 1d4. Yeah, that's enough. Don't even need the d4. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> 15! All right, yeah, that's enough that time. This time, you come down with a pick straight across, straight into the chest. And Captain just... Uh, uh, falls. Uh, could I, as a bonus action, feed Manica Potion? No, you get no items. That's kind of part of the duel. No, oh, okay. Uh, no even items on ourselves? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, under, under normal circumstances, a duel is considered with, like, honorable Dark Souls duel rules. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Then hang on one second. This is this is fucking close. <laughs> you y'all haven't even touched the other two. True. But Ash is already almost out of aura. Um. It's a pretty close fight. And. <laughs> As Shin sees that, he's going to bonus Ash in this step. All right. You're going to just swoop right over here? Yep. All right. So y'all just see Shin swoop, and he appears right and in front of Ash. And just roar into his face. Fuck. All right. Gaijin, you're up. All right. Guy is ah, too far away. Fuck. Okay. Um, guy is just going to come over here. Yeah, he's gonna come over here. Actually, he's just—you know—he he's just gonna um he's gonna use healing word on twice. All right. Well, I love one. Seven. Thank you, sir. Uh, All right, see. so that's your bonus Actually, action. Can I, uh, can I blow a reaction to that? <laughs> mm. Why are you gonna react to me healing you? Yeah, what, what were you trying to do? Um, actually, you know what? Never mind. It's probably a good idea. I was going to direct it, that direct him to do it on Shin, but it, yeah, it'll be fine. I can't reach him. Yeah. Uh, I see, I see. That's well, I guess I could. My bad. That's your That's bonus right. action, Gaiden. Okay, and then you said earlier I can not I can only use Cantrip now? Yes. All right, then we're going to use good old Ray of Frost on this one right here. All right, roll it. Seventeen hits. Nice. nice. Five. <laughs> all right. Anything else? That also, is all. Stream if you're uh, experiencing any kind of lag or delay, just hit refresh real quick, and that fixed it for me. Oh yeah, yeah. we've dropped a little bit of frames over the whole stream, so. Yep. Anyway, you gonna move or anything, Gaiden? Oh, um, yeah, actually, I'll, I'll move. I'll move up here by twice. Actually, not that close. I'm just gonna move forward right there. All right, does you do have to climb on the fountain, but you still have plenty of movement for that. Yeah, get, guy likes to stand on things. Yeah, guy does like elevated surfaces. I have the high ground. All right, I so do like to have the high ground. Top of the order, over in the corner, Tarkus waves his hand. And the down removed from the battlefield. Alright, so. Her double's gonna move. She is going to move. 5, 10, 15, 20. As far as she can get. <laughs> Thought she could get closer. So. You know what? She's still gonna trick her weapon to a rifle and shoot you at this range, Gaijin. 
All right, Guy is going to use um, Eager to um, to make an action at the attacker. All right, so that's two eight. Is that one or two AP for you? That's two AP. All right, so go ahead. All right, let me let me make sure that's okay. Yeah, and then my attack is going to be a um, a level two chromatic orb, but it's not it's not acid. <laughs> um, let me see. Well, to be fair, yeah. Gaijin wouldn't know. Yeah, so sh oh, I mean, I probably. Oh, well, actually, if you want to know, we'll do this fair. Roll a history check. I mean, I still have so many other choices. I don't know that I necessarily would, but I guess I would. You've used last time I chroma did. yeah, chromatic orb with it. Um, no, actually, with a thirteen, you would know that there that you've noticed that some uh, water genasi have mentioned that they have a a resistant to acid type cool. damage. So I'll give Gaijin the benefit of the doubt for that. God's gonna do lightning. All right, roll to hit. Wow! Fucking shit! Just goes wide. Uh, luckily, she has disadvantage because she's too close with her rifle. But that is a wow! I rolled a nineteen and a twenty. So yeah, that definitely hits. Yep. At least it wasn't an at 20. That would have hurt a lot. A lot, a lot. Alright. So 14. And I can't use, I can't use a, sh a shield reaction because I just used an attack, right? Because you used your reaction for your semblance. Mm, yeah. So that's 14 yeah. damage to you, Gaijin, as she still manages to clip you like right above your clavicle. But that's all she can do. All right. Twice. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Can action? Can guy have a free action at the end of his turn? Did he yell it twice? His next turn, yes. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot there's already been a turn in between. I'm dumb. I am... Oh, so hard. Um... You got this. this. So Can close. Can I use Healing Word and Bless in the same turn? No. Because yeah, they're both bonus actions, or... Or, sorry, not Bless, um, Inspiration. No. Because they're both bonus actions now. Okay, gotcha. Um, then, all right. Uh, I'm gonna cast mirror image. On yourself? Yep, on myself. I can only cast it on myself. Oh, okay. All right. Well, level. Tell me thrice now. <laughs> well, That's label. too many. Little bit. I thought you said we never see you twice. <laughs> you don't oh, wait, know three. you see me three times. <laughs> no, you're only there <laughs> twice, dude. Your name is twice, but you're there. Oh wait, no, you are there three times. Yeah. So are you there six times? Yeah. Seis. Alright. Whenever you get attacked, you roll a d20. Cool. So that's your action. Yep. And I'm going to move here in front of Guy. Um, so I just imagine it's like a wall of yeah, there's, twice. Yeah, there's four twice now. And uh, twice is going to take a trick uh, trick the deuce back to the axe. It's <laughs> let's say twice and dice. Oh, God. Yeah, I've, I've read the first five pages of it. Fuck. Oh no! Damn, yes. that would have been really good, but unfortunately, no. <laughs> oh damn it! Back to back, Nat ones from the boys. Yeah, right. It happens. We're falling apart. <laughs> it All happens. Right. We're in um, the end game now, boys. 
Ash's turn. He's going to trick his weapon back to the double-bladed scimitar. He's just smashing his giant pick against the shield and just roaring at and him. And he's going to take two swings at you, Shin. First one. That is a nat 20. That probably hits. And the second one is a 14. <laughs> uh, second one misses, at least. All right. So, uh... So that's eight slashing damage and make a con save. Uh, and he's, so it's four? No, no, that was after half. Okay. Um, oh, and then a d6. So two more, so ten total damage. And he's going to try to hit you with the back end of, of it, and that's a miss. <laughs> So yeah, he pulls out, and you did not expect the ranger to be standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with you a little bit. Oh, wait. Um, I don't get the advantage on con saves. No. Because I'm raging. No. You have advantage on athletics checks. Oh. Ah. Double check. Then I believe it is strength. Yeah, strength stuff. So yeah. Okay. So now you are bleeding. Oh, wait, you do have advantage on the save, actually. Oh, okay. Because your armor. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, that's just enough. Nice. Hog. Yeah. That's it for him. Canvas is already out. All right, so Shen, you're up. All right, blowing my last aura point um, for some heals. So one d4. Yep. Better than nothing. Well, don't forget you have your other racial ability. No, I know. Right? <laughs> Y'all have been rolling the ones. By God. And I've I've crit like three times. Alright, what you gonna do, Shen? Your other racial yeah. is a bonus action. All right, that was about, oh, okay. So, yeah, I am uh, the blood of the ancestors. All right, so that's 2d4. Yep. As Shen just... Oh, and you see this almost <laughs> blood-like <laughs> shield slightly appear around him. So you have 5 temp HP now, Shen. Pog. Shen just roars, and then... He's bringing the pick straight down. Are right, you going to use the pick on him? That's fine. I'm just asking. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. It, it uh, Does it cost an action to switch between weapons? Or No, it's free action. Okay. Yep. As Shin roars, he like picks his fist up in the air, and then he comes straight down with the battle axe. All right. So that puts the shield, uh, the shield and sword axe. pick away. Yep. yep. You have advantage. Oh wait, it's fairy fire. No, it's not concentration. Is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, I should have made you roll a con save when you got hit. Oh well. Whoops. That's on me. Twenty-two hits. It, it, it's gotta go. It's gotta go anyway, because in large reduces the concentration. Sixteen. Oh. Well, never mind. You don't have advantage, but you hit either way. Oh, sorry. So that is 18 damage. Alright, nice. Hey, you just come down and just take a gash out of this guy. And he's rolled a con save, which he fails, so he's now bleeding. Pong. Uh, Hunter's Mark, is that concentration? Uh, I, I believe think so. so yeah, sure. it is. It is, so he needs to make another concert. But he... Cody, I'm replaying this fight in my head, and I'm like, I could have fucking saved him. <laughs> he passes the con save, so Hunter's Mark stays. Fair. Right. Yeah, dude, I had heat metal as a bonus action. I could have killed that person in, a, in an off turn. Hey, Pretty... We're fine. We're good. Right. <laughs> Gaijin, you're yeah, up. I'm just, I'm just looking back on My bad. 
Um, you move right here. Going to use. Um, gonna go ahead and use. I can use AP twice in one turn, right? So I can use one to restore and then one enhance. Uh, as long as they're not the same thing. Enhance is a bonus action, though. Okay, cool. So, restore. That's a free action. All right, so one eight one aura for that. Three HP. All right. Um, going to use enhance as my bonus action. Well, with, enha with enhance, you don't have to call it until after you roll, but before you know the outcome. Cool. I'm gonna use level two magic missile. Oh, you don't. You can't even enhance that. Yeah, you just thought you want to empower it. Oh, you want to empower it? That doesn't work for. Oh her. yeah, my bad. I read the wrong one. I I, I wanted to use the the spell point to empower it. My bad. Uh, you cannot empower magic uh spells like that. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me make sure of my wording. What? Let me double check my wording. Because I know I can't do that for... I know I can't use Twin Spell because it targets multiple people. Oh, wait. Are you using one of your Sorcerer things? Yeah. Empowered Spell. My bad. Oh, I thought you were doing the Aura thing. Uh, Yeah, that should work. Let me double check it. Well, I got to roll the damage first. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and do it. Yeah. Are, are you, are you shooting all three at one person? Or, I mean, all four at one person? Um, No, I'm going to go to... Actually, f first I'm gonna first I'm gonna go ahead and hit this one. All right, so you're just gonna shoot one at the echo immediately. Yeah. All right, cool. It disappears. All right, and then we're gonna go um, two, one, two of him, one of her. All right. Two, four, two, three. Are you going to use the empowered spell? Because you can reroll up to four dice with it. So I, I didn't think that I didn't get to roll the first one because I figured that person would just disappear, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'll go ahead and I'm going to reroll the two with the with the empowered. All right, mark off your short story point. All right. As Ash gets hit for four damage. Sorry. They're fine. Sec. Gotta flip between a lot of pages and stuff. I'm just gonna do this and... Oh, well, I feel that. Fuck. Oh, you, well. gotta, you gotta use the new roll, though, don't you? Yeah, which is the same, so... Alright. So that's five. She is going to use... That. So she's gonna use one aura, reduce it by three. So she's gonna take two damage. Cool. Anything else, Captain? That is it for Guy. Right. Uh, actually, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and use a, another um, R point to do another restore. Okay. That's right. it for me. All right, Nelfine's turn. She looks. She's like, because her double's gone. She's gonna trick her weapon back to the rapier. Um, yeah, yeah, she's just gonna take a stab at you, uh, Finnegan. Roll that d20. That is a nat 20. Um, let's see. Still gotta see if it hits a clone. Yeah, that is true. That is true. It is. She. He does still have the clones. Mm -hmm. So you gotta roll a d20. And if you get a six or above, she missed. <gasps> oh, seven. So yeah, <laughs> negated that nat 20. There are now two more duplicates of you. So now next one, I think it's a seven or eight. Yeah. It's eight, then 11. Uh, all right. So, you know what? Fuck it. She's going to action surge. Oh, oh fuck. And stab again. That is a 17 to hit. Um, that would hit. Let me check something right quick. 
I think you have to use it. Um, yeah. All right, so roll another d20. Got to get an eight or above. If you get a nine, nine I'm going to laugh. Oh, no. All right, well, you still have Dang. your duplicates, though. Yeah, they're still there. Yep, so you're going to take eight piercing damage. All right. Duplicate. Hold on. There we go. All right, twice, your turn. All right, I'm going to... Wait, where, where'd the original go? The originals, they're in the same spot. They can occupy the same space. Okay, cool. Um, I'll take the opportunity attack. All right. And move over here next to Gaijin. That is a 14 to hit. That does not hit. Lucky. Fuck. And then um, I will cast level two healing word. That's your last. Uh, That's my level. last level two spell slot. All right, from nine. Nine. And I just look at him in Tropic Thunder. Survive! <laughs> All right, you still have your action. Action uh, just kind of roars with newfound strength. With my action. Jen turns around and goes, you m m m make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shoot her with a deuce. All right, you trick your weapon back to the crossbow and take a shot. Yep. Oh my god. 13 does not hit. She actually manages to knock it out of the way with her buckler. And that's all I can do. Alright, Ash's turn. Uh, he needs to take damage from its bleed. It takes max 4 damage. Damn. Hog. Bleed MVP. Alright, now he can make a save. Still bleeding. All right, so he is going to... Actually, he's going to use his semblance to get rid of that. He's going to roll a d4, but it doesn't matter what he rolls. He only needs one to make the save. All right, so now his bleed is gone. And he's going to make two attacks at you, Shin. All right. First attack, that one. Second attack, doesn't hit. Third attack on the bonus action for the back, back end of the blade. Uh, does hit. So I need a con save at advantage, Shin, as you take three, so five, uh, slashing damage. Eighteen. Make the save. Uh, oh, half. Is that so? Two. Two or three. Two. two. Oh. Yeah, he only Shin caught you with the back of, end. Shin just kind of like rolls back for a second and then looks back down at him. All right, Shin, you're up. No, I was about to say, actually, as it's Shin's turn, as he catches him with the back end, Shin just slams back down with the great axe. This man is trying, but he is out strength here. And Nelphine can't hit for shit because the guy, because it's shit. Oh, it's almost an at 20. 25, 25 hits. You could. Shit for so damage. That's 10 and a d4. My God, we are rolling so many in that one. He's still standing. Oh wait, I have nothing to save. increase that. Yeah, Conte. fail. God damn. Yeah. Making up for those nat twenties. Uh, yeah, he's bleeding again. He's like, oh come on. Yeah, Shin's just roaring down at him. All right, Gaijin, you're Shin up. Shin is lost in the sauce. All right, guy is going to go ahead and use. Um, <laughs> he's going to do the same thing. Um, magic missile again. Two. Yeah, level two magic missile. That's my last level two spell slot. Um, but he's gonna can I fire him off one at a time? Yeah. All right, cool. Um, Ash number one, two. Sorry, just seeing what I got there. Okay. Ash number two, three. He's still standing barely. 
He is, he is hanging on by a three. three. Yeah, he's down. Jesus Christ. Two, three, two. <laughs> and then one. I'm going to go for... I guess they're in the same spot, so whichever one it hits. I mean, well, you can tell which one's which. In Magic Missile, you just got to tell it which one you want to hit. Okay, well then I, I, I go to, to the real one. All right, yeah. She is going to use an Endure. Produces it by one, so she takes four damage. And guy goes, Sorry, lady, but you're about to enter the folk box. <laughs> All right. Top of the order, so Ash gets pulled. Nelphine is going to go up to Gaijin. And yeah, she really can't do all that much by herself. She's, you know, a rogue. Uh, rogue I'm going to use my last few aura points to, um, oh, to react in action. Oh, okay. With Eager, and I'm just going to bash her. <laughs> all right. And guy just goes, no, cannot <laughs> do that. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, oh very 20. close. Soft 20. <laughs> yeah, she's going to... He's just like, no, whack. Two and. Yeah, she's going to blow two more. Uh, <laughs> and for Endure, six. So she's going to take four damage. You with the no horny stick. Dead. Uh, but still her turn. Uh, bonus action, she is going to second wind. Damn it. Four. So she just undid what you did, guy. <laughs> hey, but you blew second she, wind. Yeah, she blew, se blew second wind and two aura for that. Uh, mm. But she is going to uh, take a stab at you with her rapier. That is an 18 to hit. That hits. Okay. Or is that... 13 damage. Fine. Max damage. Uh, but that's all she got. <laughs> she can't attack twice yet. And with her allies dead, she <laughs> really can't do get sneak attack anymore. Speaking of twice. Twice. Speaking of twice. Damn, I do have a move that I can do, but it would kill guys, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to vicious mockery her and just be like, told you. Y'all was just a bunch ah, of bitches. She failed. Ooh, she says, you're the and then I'm gonna trick twice and just pull it from my waist all the way over my head and two hands smash her. Alright, you mean deuce? Trick deuce? Yeah, deuce, my bad. I'm twice. <laughs> I was confused. I'm gonna trick myself. <laughs> uh, 17 hits. For 10 damage? Yep. But she is going to... Uh, no, nah, she's not. She's not gonna use any more. Uh, she'll just take the ten. And can twice get a free action? Depends what it is. Welcome to the fuck box. <laughs> All right, Shin, your turn. As he says that, Shin is just bounding up behind him. <laughs> oh fuck, my mouse. Can I move right there? Yes. Okay. Then, yep, I'm just going to slam right down on the real one. Okay. Eighteen. All right, as you go and make contact, she's going to use your last two aura points. Okay. Uh, Wait, is this at advantage? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. She. I was switched. just saying, if I could crit fish. She swapped places oh, yeah. with her. Oh, she swapped places. Okay. And as you connect with the ethereal one, just floops out. She's fucking trying, man. She is, and I applaud that. All right. That's everything for Shen. Gaijin? All right. Guy is just, just going to swoop down here. 
It's whip is ten or fifteen. I'm sorry. Uh, fifteen. Ten, ten feet. No, it's fifteen for you. We, you have a special one. I just can't put it on the sheet. It's five extra. Okay. Sweet. Um, bonus action level one. Um, healing word. On yourself. Yes. Okay. Five. Nice. Not bad. Not good. Um, and then guy is going to whip trip it to the whip and whip a whip it whip a whip it good. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a hit, and that's slashing, right? So yes, a con save, which she fails. Oh wait, she has medium armor, so she gets advantage. Passes. Nice. Alright, her turn. Next step. Opportunity. No, she's gonna use the bonus action to disengage. Okay. She's a rogue. She's gonna move over here. Cunning action. God, I hate rogues. 25, 30. Actually, 30. Uh, about 10, 10, 20, 25. That was a masterful exit of the fuck box. Yes. Uh, and she is going to trick her weapon to the rifle, and she's taking a shot at Gaijin. She does have disadvantage. No, she doesn't. Yeah, she vicious, does mockery. vicious mockery. Oh, yeah. Forgot. Fuck, forgot. Yeah. Oh, I, that is not something we can for, uh, afford to forget. Yeah, we can't afford to forget that. Uh, that is a 14 to hit. going to use his uh, reaction 13. to use shield. 13. Oh, well. God damn it. He tried. <laughs> Uh, I mean, spell slot. You uh, you got to be almost out of spell slots. That I've was got, my last level one. So I've you got one left. Damn. Oh, he knows what to do. Uh, no, I don't. I don't have anything I can do unless. Uh, that's her turn. She tried. She I, I got up. <laughs> yeah, I can't. So what I will do is use my last spell slot and uh, use healing word on guy. <laughs> Oh, thanks, dude. For another five. Uh, let's see. It's 50 feet away, so I need to move 20 feet closer. And we'll go 5, 15, 15. I like how the rogue is the last one standing. It's kind of makes sense. You. And she made it through two whole turns by her fucking self. And we can't get her. There's another one. I still have my doubles, don't I? Yeah, you still have two doubles. All right, and I will um, take a shot with a deuce. That's well, a snap twenty. Please, one God. One. Well, does not hit. Yep, and I'm out of aura, and yeah, everything's fucked. So cool. <laughs> All right, Shen, you're up. Well, I guess I can take the hunter's mark off of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, I can reach her, right? 10, 15, 20, 25, yeah. Okay. Uh, would that be here or there? Okay. There. Yep. And slap it down. If you hit, you'd pretty much have to do minimum damage to not kill her. That's a hit. 24. That is 11 plus 2, so that's 13 plus 4. <laughs> she did. Oh my god, another fucking net one. 14. Yeah, you come down, hit her, and she's... Uh, uh, well played. And she falls down. It, Shin's still in large, just roars at the sky. Yeah, and Tarkus throws his hands up, hand up and says, B3 is the winner. And the crowd's yeah, just uh, like, yeah. and goes, yes, guy is winner. Uh, twice is going to pull out his guitar and be like, because Embryon's a bitch. They ain't shit. They can suck on my dick. All right. Shit uh, looks around. Where's <laughs> Manic? Uh, he's just right over there by uh, Bartholomew. Yeah, I run up. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, as I'm dematerializing and I just make sure Manic's okay, I'm like, 
No, yeah, Manic's like, con uh, Everyone that's been taking out Sentinel Fiend since she just got knocked out has been both stabilized oh. and conscious now. So, Manic, you got to watch oh, okay. the last, like, four or five turns. I'm going to come to Manic and be like, I'm so sorry. That's fine. Guy's going to run down. I mean, say, one, Manic Manic for, one Manic for four of them. Fair trade. Yeah, uh, but yeah, it's still, Shin's just kind of looking him over. It's like, you all right? But I could have saved it. Yeah, I'm fine. Alright, everyone add 200 gold. Well, actually, don't. Don't add the money. We'll do that next session. We'll go back to headquarters and you'll get your proper rewards. Okay. Alright, but I think we'll call it there, guys. It seems like a good place to end it. <laughs> yeah. Can I that, do that was one... intense. But that say, that can was I do awful. one thing? Sure. Uh, Shin just looks over at Cadmus. Just goes, good fight! And then he keeps looking over Manic. And Cadmus, good fight. But yeah, that's going to do it for us tonight. Um, you guys do stick around. I want to tell y'all, uh, I'll tell y'all everyone's semblance that y'all saw. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but do y'all want to ray? Well, really just looks like Ninja Rice Eater. Fire, Fire Emblem. Four nice hours thing. exactly, boys. <laughs> All right, but appreciate everyone for hanging out with us. Uh, this VOD should still be, I'm still going to put it up tomorrow. Bob. That's not the normal VOD day, but you know. That'll be fine. Uh, God, yeah. what a fucking fight, boys. Great job, everyone, and appreciate everyone for hanging out. We'll see you all next time. Bye, chat.